where we left off uh, last week, you had visited a place called Hunter's Crossing. Kind of a stopover for people who were traveling uh, down some of the trade roads. Um, unfortunately, um, a family there had encountered some issues. Um, and you picked up from this uh, a young woman whose family is, uh, well, all dead. Uh, killed by uh, members of the Army of Erebus Dawn. Melandrio, right? Yep. Was it? Yep. Okay. After some discussion, uh, she was going to join you on your journey. And you were heading along on your way to Tavi, or the Lost Village of, we shall say. It's going to be a couple of days' trips. So first thing I'm going to ask, is there anything anybody would like specifically to do during their rest time on the first day? <clears throat> Same thing as before. All right. Very good. Tikaros, the sending stone in your pocket becomes very cold. <laughs> I take it out. And you receive a message. Good things are progressing. Where are you now? Be careful, we heard of dangerous things at Hunter's Crossing. We? Hmm. Uh, everybody, message from Ariana. She says there's dangerous things at Hunter's Crossing, but we already know this. So, and she also said we. Who would she be traveling with? She was returning to her temple, was she not? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll send a message back. I will say, Hunter's Crossing is terrible. We rescued a woman whose family is dead from the clan of Erebus something something. And we're headed to the lost village of Tavi. That's it. I like how you wasted two of your 25 words on something, <laughs> something. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Tikaros move. It's a very Tikaros move. <laughs> <It is. clears throat> All right. So uh, travel will continue on to the next day. It's relatively quiet. Probably. Some movement off in the woods in the distance, but nothing that's particularly, you know, addressing to you, nothing aggressive towards you or anything like that. The next day you come upon an area that's it's in the woods, but it's been cleared at some point, but it's beginning to grow back up again. And when you're about, I don't know, 300 meters out, you can. You can begin to make out the outline of some kind of structures. They're very small. Uh, Ptolemaeus, you've been driving the uh, the cart previously, so I'm assuming you're driving at this point. Mm. What is it like far out into the horizon? Kind of pretty small, or is it like it's just it's about you you're about 300 sides. meters out. You're about 300 meters out from it. Did you just okay. kind of come through a break in the woods? And then you see these structures. I'll just call out from wherever. I don't know where everybody is situated, but I'll just be like, Hyrax, I'm, I'm seeing something up in front. I, I want to see if, if you could help me spot what that is, those structures over there. And I'll, I'll kind of point them out to them. Of course. I'll see what I can see. Um, you have really good eyesight, if I remember correctly. Uh, he, you do remember correctly. Hyrax has very good eyesight. Um, would there be anything that I would need to do to to have better eyesight? Should, should I climb up to a higher vantage point? Um, uh, with where you're at in the woods, you're going to be pretty much in a level mm -hmm. area at this point. Remember, it's going downhill into the... You're getting closer to the marsh right, area, to right. the edge of the wood. So... Not okay. so hilly so much. Um, probably just standing up on the cart would give you a decent advantage, but then focusing sure. would probably help too. Or if you had something that could possibly 
aid in your vision, your visual acuity at this point. That would be a thing, too. Uh -huh. Well, let's see. Your okay. vision is exceptional, but if you need the seeing glass, I have the one that was given to me by Vara. You could look through it. Just please take very good care of it. I appreciate your offer, but there's some things I can try. Uh, Tam, I would like to ask, are there any animals nearby, specifically any birds? Absolutely, there would mm -hmm. be birds nearby. I would like to, to uh, offer one a little morsel of food and cast Speak with Animals. All right. I'm, I'm going to say that very simple to do in this area. Uh, and I'm going to simply offer it to the bird and say in, in bird language, uh, little friend, could you fly over there? And he points toward the structures and see what there is to see. Tweet, tweet, tweety, tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> and the bird takes off. Now, uh, I do gain the ability to comprehend what he says. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, when I speak <laughs> I was just saying animals. that for everybody else. Uh, uh, but I, I, before he flies away, I would like to follow up with another ah, uh, okay. spell to cast, if I may reach out and touch him, okay. if he flies well, close enough I would to say touch. he'd probably land on your arm so you could feed him, so. I will cast Beast Sense. Okay. What's the range on this uh, Beast Sense? Beast Sense, uh, let's see. For the duration of the spell, you can use your action to see through the beast's eyes and hear what it hears and continue to do so until you use your action to return to your normal senses. It doesn't give a maximum range. All right. Excellent. Uh, it lasts for an hour. All right. Or uh, until I end it. Is there any uh, visual effect to you that you're seeing through the other creature's eyes? Or I know some people uh, have done that. That's why I asked. Sure. Uh, yes. He touches the little bird and... Uh, whatever the little bird's eyes look like. Hmm. I'll say that his eyes, when he blinks, his eyes open back up and they look just like the bird's eyes. All right. Good. The bird flies off and begins to head that direction. You get a view of, of course, the road as it's going to fly down that path between the trees. Mm -hmm. And as it gets closer, you begin to see what looks like the outlines of buildings and it doesn't go too low so you're kind of getting an, you know the look down aerial view of it and i will put up a map here so that you can see exactly what it looks like as it flies over the area i say i will but there it goes and i will get that on the screen for everyone else here Ta -da. so what it looks like as you're flying over this it's almost as if there were buildings here and somebody took something like a giant sword and just cut the tops off of them there is some rubble strewn around but the rubble that's from the walls that would have remained afterwards there's not enough to be as though the buildings had collapsed hmm. And the whole time that he is viewing this, he's picking out details and he's speaking to the rest of the party while he's back at the wagon, seeing okay. through the eyes of this bird. Describing it as he sees it. Hmm. Let me put on my glasses so I can see. <laughs> so you can um, see. What, if he's saying that, I'll just, the, f the first thing I'll just be like, check the trees around is it still is it at the same level are they all cut at the same level as well um do the trees appear to be cut at the same level a lot of the trees that you see uh appear to be fairly new growth somewhere between probably three to five years of age you would be able to age this because of your experience as a ranger uh there right. are some places where there are stumps that look like trees had been cut off as well Okay. Uh, yeah, he will relay this information. So it must be a little bit older. Um, the walls. 
do they seem to have green growths on them and things like that? Signifying age. In places, yes. Yes. Seems this was done some time ago. Let's get a better look, all of us. Is it okay for us to, to drive in? Uh, I didn't notice any obstructions on the road or anything like that, Tam. Right? No, you did Once not. He flew along the road, right? That's correct. Uh, Hyrax returns to his own senses. And since I believe he took over control of the cart for Ptolemaeus last time, he's going to start driving the horses that way. Okay. okay. Very good. Um, it'll obviously I... take a little while to get all the way in. Go ahead, Ptolemaeus. Okay. As, as we're g getting in, I'll just kind of turn to the rest of the par party and just be like, seeing as this is close, getting closer to the city, the, the lost city of Tavi, and if they're could be similarities drawn between that disappearance and our culprit. Do you think this was some preliminary test of those orbs? This does sound like some sort of godly power. If it's cut the way it is, at least. I don't have as much experience with these orbs as you do. Is there anything, any evidence left behind after they're used? No. However, every single one have been tied to somewhat of, of what one particular god would be strong at, or at least something that seems like it is in their element. Hmm. Let's awesome. ride in and check out. Give a closer look. All right. You ride in and you will appear right about where I'm pinging here on the map. Hopefully you can see that and it's pinging okay. Yes, it is. This is exciting. Shall we do some investigating? We should, but even though everything looks abandoned, be on your toes. It's still an unfamiliar area. I don't know if there's any beasts or creatures that, that might be violent. means in any words if we're going to go and look out for anything we should definitely be at least in eyesight with everybody else agreed is that is that our wagon is that the oh uh, that's that prime. prime i didn't have i didn't pull the wagon out into it but we'll listen to wagons over there i assume you're just gonna leave prime with the wagon so oh <laughs> <laughs> he should come with us for once. <laughs> I had to zoom in and look. You also have to figure out what girl. you're going to do with the uh, young woman who's riding along too, who I also didn't do a token for, but I can put one out there real quick. I can stay with the cart and protect the woman. I'm not quiet. We have a lady to... with us? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, we yeah, we, we rescued a woman <laughs> at Hunter's Crossing. And Good morning, Vara. Yeah, Vara wakes up and is just... Oh, um... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice You're to meet you. Again. Uh, yes, I ever since that um shark attack, I feel like my senses haven't been well that and that poison. I don't know. I haven't been around something like that often. Sorry. Are we here? No, we're somewhere. Um, it, it's weird though, if you, if you come out and look, all the buildings look like they've been cut hmm. by something. 
one swing of a godly sword or something close to it. But judging by all the trees and what Panrax have mentioned that these trees seem to be a few years old, this was done a lot longer before before we've had to encounter any of this stuff. Has anyone done a history check or a religion check? I haven't made this now. But I didn't quite catch that. that but... Okay. <laughs> Did I do um, a history check or a religion check? One of the two? Uh, what would you like to check? I think because Tali specifically said like a godly impact, I would do religion. Okay. That's a 13. There's not specifically anything to tie to, you know, buildings being cut in half. I mean, there are the stories of Heliod destroying Neolantan, but that was more an all-out lightning bolt, everything shattered to the ground. Um, so there's not anything particular that's coming back on this. Although, you know, there was the document that you all had found way back in Melitus that even mentioned this place in the first place that mentioned that the town had been here and was apparently razed to the ground. So if this right. is the lost village, that could very well be, you know, some things may be exaggerated. Maybe there's a little bit more left than what people said. But it also talked about, I'm sorry. The document didn't say anything about how it specifically was destroyed. That's just that no. it was. It said that there was a, a great earthquake. So there was a lot of uh, shaking of the ground and such. Um, and, you know, the gods were angry kind of uh, language around it. Hmm. Do any of the buildings look like a temple? Uh, no, actually, they do not. Looks more like know. just a small hunting village. Hmm. Well, let's just um, take a building and see what we find. I think I don't, I don't really recall any mythos or anything beyond just the document that we found. Document from uh, a, a while ago when Prime was finding information for us. Prime, which document do you think? Which one are we talking about? The one that had mentioned the lost village of Tavi that brought us all this direction in the first place because of the anomaly of it. Tikaros, does any of this seem familiar to you? Well, I look around and I start to get into my little stealth mode and take a few steps off into the, into the surrounds and just look back at everyone to see if anyone wants to do a stealth mission with me. Oh, he'll come along. Hyrax, I mean. Which direction are you going, Tikaros? North, south, hmm. east? If I take a look, if I just take a general look, is there any way that looks familiar? Like Tolly said, does anything look familiar to me? I don't know, any pull in any direction? Give me a history. Oh, history. I'm so good at history. <laughs> oh, let's see how we go here. That's a great big seven. <laughs> at the moment, uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing is really drawing your attention. Um, nothing looks familiar. Just a bunch of buildings that have crumbled and disappeared. I got nothing. Well, let's not be too hasty and take a more uh, comprehensive walk around. We're pretty obvious that the lost city of Tavi isn't really that much lost. And it's definitely not destroyed by an earthquake if so much of the buildings are still standing. Can I, since we actually haven't done uh, this particular check, can I make an investigation to see if there's any, uh, at least the closer buildings right now, 
if there's anything inside the buildings that that in the rubble and whatnot that I can find. Okay, well, to like do that, you'd evidence. have to go into the building, of course. Um, take a building. I'll, we'll follow. I'll, I'll just take this one. I'll just take this closer one first. Okay. Roll me an investigation. Is the is the uh, entrance over here? Uh, there's so many holes in the wall, you could just pick one and walk through it. Okay, I'll just walk through here like that. And uh, my investigation... Okay. All right. I don't really see anything. That's a six. <laughs> there, there's not a lot to see the the building again is cut off and it it's cut off about a little over a foot from the ground okay so even the staircases which look, look much longer than they they would look some of those are going down like a basement so, oh, <laughs> so everything okay. everything is cut just cut off at that point and again there's some rubble around but that appears to be damage that happened after it was sliced through, because there's not enough rubble there to be the rest of the building. And it's, it's like a clean not... cut or a jagged kind of it's cut? It's a, it looks like a very clean cut. But whatever the top half was, when it was cut off, it didn't, it just disappeared, right? It's not, there's it, no there's evidence of the top half here. here to, yeah, there's not enough debris to be the top. That's, that's right. what I thought. Okay. All right. Hmm. So as I kind of like, walk and step over the wall if it's like just a foot or yeah. so i'll just be like new theory what if everything was just taken everything above this i would have would have had to been if it's no longer here so it's definitely not some sort of a theory as to if it was got some sort of godly magic it's just what type of godly magic? Well, I tried to... Um, when religion didn't really... Her calling on that didn't seem to open anything. I tried to see if maybe there was a temple we could go to. If there was a specific god that they worshipped. But none of these buildings really look like a temple. So perhaps um, this little village didn't really offer anything to the gods. Or, or believe in the gods to where they felt they needed to... I don't know, take an offering of their own? I mean, I don't know what current god would do this. Are we... Is this far enough back to where we might have to consider some of the ancient deities? I know that was an original theory we had quite a while ago. And have we seen any bodies? Sorry. Have we seen any uh, corpses? Anyone no. missing perhaps the top part of their body? The, just no, the skeletons you, left behind? Thus, thus far, no, you have not. Okay. The Sorry, I didn't mean to cut thing, you off. No worries. The only reason why I wouldn't think that that's the case, the ancient deities at least, is the fact that, look at the trees. It's, it's as Hyrax said. Any tree that's not a stump around the area seems to only be a few years old. The vegetation would have been grown, growing much more if that was the, it was the case elsewhere. So, Prime's um, going to look. Prime's going to oh. look around, and and you would think, over this large of an area, all of them are cut at the same height, not varying. So it's like something made a flat cut across all of it at once, not individual. Such as, say, Mogus. If Mogus had come through and swung his axe, we would expect to see varying levels and differentiation across it. It definitely does look like if there was some giant weapon that just cut it at the base and took everything else with it. However, this does lead me to think and as I'm talking, I'll walk over to the stairs. Are there basement? Is there a basement in this particular building? There is a hole where this stair would have gone down into, but it appears to uh, be covered over. You can kind of see the edge of the hole of it here at the stairwell. Okay. Can I try to dig around and see if it's just completely covered or, or if it's just okay. kind of... Absolutely. Absolutely. I have a shovel. I'd like to help him. Okay. Um, it, it's just a matter of time to do this, okay. not any any sure. great effort. So after digging for a bit, uh, you kind of open up, and it is it would have been a small cellar, 
uh, kind of a root cellar type of place. So mm -hmm. any anything they wanted to preserve food wise. Very much this was a hunting village. Hey, was there anything that I could find like in, in the dirt? Were there like little pots or things that, that were, were I'm sure there would be some things you would find, yeah. Okay. Would age of so you'd think with an event like this, um, it would be talked about by everyone for, for miles. I mean, there's so many different histories and, and discussions. I mean, even just in that previous temple, that war um, that would potentially break out and the destruction of other cities is talked about. I mean, it, it definitely had to be not only a magical raising of the buildings, but done in such a way where there were no talking survivors to tell the tale. And yet I see no bodies. You would assume that they had left. Perhaps they were part of it. It was some kind of agreement with the gods. Maybe the whole city was just transported. Maybe it was meant to be the whole village and they just missed the bottom portion. <laughs> yes, the entire village did care nothing of any of their preservatives. Um, hmm. I would say that we did travel for quite a few days and there hadn't been anything out, but even then, Hunter's Crossing isn't that far away. So, your query is definitely warranted. Nothing, nothing about this village anywhere else except for a document in Melitus. How did the information even get to Melitus, if that's the case? I will continue walking towards this other building and continue doing the same investigation on every building that I can. All right. Uh, I'm just going to follow along. Uh, Tikaros, I think you were headed that way. Uh, Tikaros, yeah. as you get closer to this grove and you can see under this tree, you've kind of got this fence that's going around it. You notice this small kind of hillock uh, in the center of it. You can see it on the map there. Kind of this raised, it's it's a mixture of rock and dirt. Right over mm. here where I'm pinging. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, cool. That looks interesting, I say, as I head towards it. Mm -hmm. I said this out loud so people would hear me. <laughs> I'm not sneaking off or anything. I'd stick with you. I'm just going to follow and come around the other way. We're still staying with the cart and keeping the woman safe. All right. I was going to split off and look at other places, but she's looking at that thing. <laughs> when you approach it, Tikaros, it seems somewhat familiar to you. You notice mm. that it's rocks, and it appears some of them have been moved back, and there's like a small, almost Tikaros size. Hole <gasps> underneath it. Oh no. And you begin to recognize this as the place where you have your first memories. Okay. You take some deep breaths and just step away a little bit. And I'll look up at folks who followed me and I'll say I think this is it we found it hmm. how do you want to proceed I certainly don't want to get back in the rubble I clawed myself out of that this hole right here oh goodness well, do you recognize any of these as your home? It's a very good question. My memory's so foggy. I hate it. I'll look around again and I'll see. Is anything familiar now that I've placed this origin point? Mm -hmm. uh, as you look around, the building next to you kind of draws your attention. Something about it seems familiar. Okay. Bara, I think this could be something. We should look in here. Yeah. All right. 
I'll walk just be in right and, behind them, be on the other side. and look around and it's everything seems off about it. It seems familiar, but off. I mean, part of that may be, you know, half well, more than half of the building is missing. But you definitely recognize the area with the fireplace. You you can envision where a table would have been in the center of the room. There should be there should be animal skins, carpeting and, and drapes. They're all gone. You know that the next room over, that, that should have been a sleeping room and, and a, a workroom. That's that's where you would have done any any type of craft or house making type of things that you would have done. But there's nothing there. Okay. I would have been narrating that. I would have just said out loud, Cattens should have been here. This is how we slept. As I'm just walking through, just looking at it. I wish I could remember what happened to you. All I remember is the earthquake. It was an earthquake. Do you want to remember? I thought for a long time I didn't, but it's all connected to the, the atrocities that we've seen. So if this is part of the key, we need answers. Um, maybe um, sometimes what helps me remember things is retracing my steps. Uh, it might be a bit painful, but I'll be here with you. Um, maybe with what is left here, what would your day look like? Where would you have woken up? And once you woke up, where would you have gone to to either wash or bathe or or begin food? I mean, what if you retrace your steps in that way? We had a potato farm. I knew that much. Tavi would get up early. He would be out in the fields. My husband, Tavi. Hmm. Where's um, the potato farm? I don't know. I look that outside. Be, that would be the out front area with the partial fence around it for the rock and stone. Your crypt. Oh, <laughs> your, your, your earth womb. Okay. My earth womb. That's a beautiful phrase. I just came up with that out of nowhere. Was, so. It was great. <laughs> I head to my earth wound, earth mound. She's already getting it wrong. Um, and yeah, look, I'll approach. I'll approach this area and I'll just kneel down beside it and I'll. I'll just absentmindedly start moving. If there's rubble or rocks, I'll just start picking some randomly and just moving them out of that area okay. and just focusing on it. And maybe even in her mind, she's like, she's remembering the strands of hair that she saw when she was clawing herself out and the hand that came down to pull her out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to need a perception check from all of you. Oh boy. Ooh. 16. 15. That is also a 15. All right. Can I roll it with disadvantage since I'm. Kind no, of you, you don't them? have to. You don't have to. Just a straight uh, roll. Roll real by it. I got an 18. All right. I guess I should roll. I got a 15. 15 is the lowest so far, except for Prime, who comes in at a 7, because, you know, he's, he's focused on the rocks or something. Uh, you begin to hear a noise coming from the north, from the far side of the buildings. Uh, it sounds like, uh, well, the language isn't exactly familiar. Um, what languages do you speak, Hyrax? For some reason, I think there's a possibility you might actually speak okay. one of these. So I speak common, draconic, goblin, leonin, go. minotaur, and you, sylvan. You recognize the voice as goblin. I listen, what is it saying? Uh, they, they appear to be bickering over 
who's carrying what and how much of a load of stuff there is. And one voice, apparently the lead voice, says, Quit complaining. We have weapons. Do I get a sense of how many goblins there are? Um, yeah, you, you pick up maybe uh, at least four voices. Mm. Small band of goblins. Arguing over who's carrying something. They're armed. Malicious we should or... kill them. We should kill them. This is my home village. No one desecrates this place. I don't necessarily think they're... Does it seem like they're coming closer? Or moving further away? I only understand the language. I think everyone else, I think a couple of other people rolled higher had, perception had than I did. Slightly higher perceptions, I think yeah. Ptolemaeus so. is one of them, so you... No, I only have 15. Better. Oh, you only have... Oh, okay, I have the same. Uh, Tikaros, you have the 18, uh, is that right? Yeah, I got an 18. Yeah. So, Tikaros, you recognize them. They're coming from the grove of trees that would have been uh, to the northeast of your house. Okay. I want to take off stealthily in that direction. Okay. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. And uh, since uh, somebody already said let's kill them all, uh, let's go ahead and uh, work on getting uh, initiative order going here. Okay. So how's Hyrax's hearing? Hyrax's hearing? Um, I mean, his perception is a plus nine, so. Okay. I'm going, to, I'm going to try and get Hyrax's attention. Okay. Um, and assuming that he is a soldier, you have like a couple finger signs of like, should I stay here or should I come to where you are? Because I can hear them. And he, I see, ta I see uh, Tikaros go off and I see him react. So I'm giving Hyrax a sign of like, stay here, go with you. <laughs> uh, okay. So you're saying you're 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 asking whether to no you're I'm asking saying, Hyrax if he needs if he and the party need me with them. Need backup. Okay. Um he's going to sign back. Right now you're watching their wagon, right? That's very mm -hmm. important that someone's watching the wagon, I feel. Okay. Um yeah, he'll sign back. Not yet, stand by, basically. Okay. I will turn to the woman and say, for your safety, go ahead and lie down in the cart. Keep your head down. You'll be safe. And she will do as you ask. And I'll kind of post up. Okay. Uh, did anybody roll initiative? Because I'm not seeing any show up. I have <laughs> not rolled initiative okay. yet. Let me <laughs> click my little man. I, I'm no, like, normally, here, normally I it's... I have the turn <laughs> added. <laughs> Yeah. Say again. I, I I would need to. I, I rolled it over here, so I would need the the turn added. It's All right. What is it, sir? Thirteen. Thirteen. It is. All right. I didn't roll physical dice. I've got an eight. And let me get the turn order expanded so I can see. Uh, oh, I think here. mine is already on there. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. I thought you said it didn't come up. So. So I think we've got everybody. Yeah. Tikaros is at the top of the turn order, which works out absolutely great. Wow, that works well. <laughs> so give so me a I stealth. Got a, yeah, I got a 22 on my stealth check. All right. You are absolutely I'm just gonna... stealth in a way there. All right. For my 10, then I will just head up to where I heard the noises. And I think I'll hole up behind this tree Okay. as I get closer. And All just right. hide in there and just look at what's happening and wait for other folks to catch up. All right. If they're coming. Gotcha. Vara. Um, yeah, if Tigris isn't doing anything yet, I think I would just hold action. Um let's see. Uh 
Or I guess I'll dash over to where Tigros is and be near her instead. So All right. let's go ahead and... What's my best path here? Here and then... And give me a stealth as well, since I assume you're trying to do this quietly. I am. My stealth is a plus zero, so great. Okay, 14. All right. Very good. Cool. And I'll just be here and I'll kind of walk up quietly. Let's see if I can still kind of show Tikaros like I'm behind her. She needs right. something. Very good. Ptolemaeus. Um, which if are any of these trees the the new trees? That, All of I, the trees that you see would be the new growth trees. Okay. Uh I will just get up to this tree. Two, three, four, five. Like this one. And just be beside it. You said uh, is this is still all one feet one foot. It's all so... one foot. No, no wall in here is higher than one foot. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still in range, so I'll 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 just kind of see the goblins, and if they make any, I'll hold an action to see if they make any violent move towards Tikros, or if 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 there is fighting about to happen, I will attack the one that Tikros attacks. Okay. Uh, I will throw a Eldritch Blast against the, that one, at least. All right. That will be my turn. All right. Give me just a moment here. I want to check one thing. Oh, good. Okay. So the group, oblivious to... Uh, just a moment. As, come on, roll 20. Give me my, there we go. Oblivious to all of you are just going to continue on their way. So they're coming from this bramble of bushes over here and making their way to the west. Prime is going to, as quietly and unclunkily as he can, make his way over here to the wall. Since he was already looking at the stone, he's actually going to go low and kind of crawl his way over and get low so he's behind the wall. He is not going to try and get any closer than that, though. Irex. You're a little tiny one. Um, Do what? I said, look at that little tiny one. Uh, I am going to let's see. only get so far but i'll do it i'll get whoops hold on there we go get up here um i don't suppose i can see them yet can i uh from there now this is a tree but i'm gonna say it's probably got some low hanging things since uh we have tikaros hiding behind it so you you'll have a bit of a view it'll be a somewhat obscured but you can see Okay. I can see the goblins then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to wait and see what Tikaros does. Kind of do a similar thing to Ptolemaeus. I'm going to attack whenever uh, someone attacks. Okay. From where you're at, you can see that they, the three in the back, the large ones, as Hyrax would probably put it, since he called the other one itty bitty, uh, they're carrying That was bags. out of character, Tam. <laughs> <laughs> I think it fits. So they're carrying uh, bags that are, seem to be full of things. Uh, you can see protruding from at least one of them some arrows. I see. Okay. Adrastos. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, I'm just saying you can look, so I'm going to move on to oh, Adrastos. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Come back around. That's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Adrastos. My clan can handle it. I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Icarus. 
Okay, I can hear them coming closer. So I'm going to back up from my hiding spot, back to uh, Pyrex and Vara. But before and kind of as I'm doing that, still stealthy, I'm going to target the the itty bitty tiny one at the front. I'm going to say into its head, you're surrounded, halt and drop your weapons. And he is immediately going to stop. And he's going to look at this staff that he's got. It's you know about probably three feet long. That's tied to his belt. And he's going to kind of put his hand on it and look at it. And then look around. The other three are going to notice what he's doing. But you'll find out what they do when they get to their turn. Vara. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to wild shape into just something big and scary. Got a, ba a bear? Probably a bear. A black bear. I'm going to go bear find, mode. See if I can find you a token. Yeah, I don't think I've done bear maybe once before, so I don't think we have a, yeah, a bear. I, I, have a token for, I have a polar bear. Could you go with polar, with a... Uh, That's fine. An albino black bear? Would that be... That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, will, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go, ooh, I like him. Cute. And then, forgive me, have the goblins seen us yet? Uh, no, they have not yet. As far as you can tell, I mean, you'll find out on their turn. Oh, for sure. I forgot. Yeah, sorry, Z pointed out, I'm supposed to have another extra 10 feet of movement on the first round of combat. Oh, neat. So can I just get a little closer then? Absolutely. All right. So, Vara, I'm going to take your main token off. You should be able to move the other token. Please see if you can. Cool. Yes, I can. Excellent. Great. And then I'm going to I'm gonna wander as it... I'm going to pretend... Basically, I don't know if this would be performance. Um, I'm going to pretend as if I'm a bear that's just taken up in this area since it's been abandoned. And then see them and kind of do like a growl, roar situation as if they've kind of wandered into my territory and just try to intimidate them away from this area so where you're you're going to do it from where you're standing or are you going to move i'm going to move up it? a little bit okay. let me see what my movement is as a black bear 40 feet Let's see 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 so i think i'll be like right here oh pretty um, close okay pretty close i'll kind of wander i'll I think I would loop under the tree and make it look as if I'm coming out of this house here because I've noticed a presence and I'm just kind of like sniffing at the ground and pawing and angry like, oh, you've wandered into my territory. Go away. Big bear. Grr. As you're wandering closer and you get about a right here under the tree, still moving forward and turning, um, a voice comes from where the goblins are. It's not one of the goblins' voices. It's got kind of a, a, a little bit deeper voice that says, Boss, watch out! Hmm. And I'll just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I, do, can I intimidate in any way? Uh, sure. Give me an intimidation there. They won't react until yeah, it's yeah. their turn, of course. but. That's fine. I just want to try to be a big old bear presence with my 11. <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> Very good. All right. Perfect. Ptolemaeus. I will, um, using this situation here, I'm going to infer from from seeing actually no I'm not going to infer anything I'm just going to walk up a little bit more I'm just going to line this wall and just a tad bit right here and I'm going to just like kneel down a little bit 
I'm not going to ready an action for anything. I'm just going to passively look on for now. Okay. But yeah, I do want to roll that stealth check to kind of hide behind this yep. wall. Very good. Uh, da -da. Oh, fucking today is not Tony's <laughs> day. How much is that? That's a 10. Okay. Well, that's it for me. All right. So the first thing that happened is this voice went into the first person's head, which kind of got him a little concerned. And then the bear comes walking out, and you hear this in common, Boss, watch out! At which point he grabs the staff from his side and looks and catches sight of the bear. And the, the goblins behind him, they all kind of stop, and he's, Oh, what are you doing, little fella? Uh, okay, guys. Uh, Anybody got any meat on them? And here's some grumbling, and one of them takes out this not exactly fresh. It's some kill that they probably got along the way. They've probably been carrying it for a day, maybe two, and uh, hands it over to the goblin in the front who takes it and Aaron throws it over towards you, Vara. I will eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, we're all friends here. And one of them in the back goes, I don't know, that's a lot of food. No, no, not not anything in this village. Remember, we're not supposed to mess with anything here. Hmm. And so they're going to kind of move in forward, but they're going to skirt around the area a bit as they do so, which I realize just moved them off the map over there. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Now I have to check something real quick because of where they've moved to. And as they move a little bit closer, they're going to go, you're going to hear another call out from that voice. Boss, not just the bear. Look out over there. And he's going to stop and look around and see Hyrax standing in the middle of the street. And he's going to go, what do you want? You're... You better not be hunting this bear. I would never needlessly hunt, he responds in goblin. Ah, and he'll reply. Well, good. Um, we're just uh, making our way on here. Uh, no, no harm, no trouble. Agreed. But if you don't mind, you seem to know something about this village. That's, what is no, story not a it? thing. And I'm going to have to stop us there. <laughs> we'll come back to your vote because we're doing a lot of talking for being within that. Fair range. enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Prime seeing uh, Ptolemaeus move forward a little bit is going to do a similar. But he is going to try and go inside. Again, he is just going to low crawl it, which is going to make it very slow for him. Unfortunately. He doesn't have much skill in stealth as he rolled a nat 1 on that. So definitely he breaks through a couple of floorboards that were remaining and you hear him crack under his weight and he just kind of freezes. This definitely gets attention of one of the goblins off on the side. There's a noise there. So all he does is lower his pack to the ground. Hyrax. Uh, Hyrax continues. Then... Why did you say that you aren't supposed to disturb anything in this village? It's just a matter of respect. Respect. We're not for... thieves, you know. He looks at the bags on their shoulders. No. Mm, no. These are these are gifts. He nods slowly. I see. Well, that's certainly none of my business. But you say you don't know anything about this village. Can I roll insight to see if he's lying to me about it? Absolutely do that. I want to get general insight on this guy. All right, let's see what we got. 
That's a natural two, so 11. Which happens to be exactly what I rolled. Dice are not being kind to me. Oh, well. <laughs> so he is wearing a like a, a bandana, a cloth across his face. Uh, so you can't really get a good facial expression off of him. The goblins behind him seem a little bit irritated to, to be stopped with this and a little uncomfortable. You know, they're kind of shifting under the weight of the packages they're doing. The one who set his package on the ground, he has been slowly reaching backwards towards his short bow. So while the leader doesn't seem to be aggressive, you kind of got to wonder about the others. That's where I was going with that. I don't intend to start any fights, but I will gladly finish them. He says with a pointed look at the one reaching for his short bow. Uh, no, no reason to start a fight here. We're just, we just, uh, we just on our way, taking our gifts with us. Who are those gifts from? I don't think that's any of your business, friend. And I suppose those arrows in those bags. Can I ask something, Tam? Yes. They have short bows. They have mm -hmm. arrows, right? Mm hmm Do the arrows in the bags look like their own arrows? As if to say maybe that they... I think that's going to take a perception check to Initially to fired that. arrows at maybe yeah. whoever had those bags and then took them. Uh, let me see. So perception check. Please do better. 19. Uh, the arrows that they're wearing on their side, as a ranger who uh, has some experience around goblins, um, you know that there are different clans. So in a lot of their clans, their arrows are marked by their clan. The arrows that are protruding from the pack, they're black. The feathers are black. The exposed shaft is black. Okay. Have I ever seen goblin arrows like that before? I think I'm going to have to come back to you on that. Very well. <laughs> uh, you've seen arrows very similar to that uh, in a cave not too long ago. That's what I thought. Yep. That's what I thought. Addressed us. I've been given any indication to leave. I know I stepped off screen for a second, so sorry about that. Uh, no, no, nobody's indicated any, a darn thing to you at this point. I would say you can probably overhear the conversation, but it's in Goblin, so you wouldn't understand a word that's being said. Okay. So I'll stay put. You also heard oh. a bear make some noises. Yeah. <laughs> well, I also saw you turn into a bear, so. <laughs> you heard some crunching noises, you know? <laughs> Tikaros. After the after the oh, initial it's... greeting, I would have eventually probably switched back to common. Since they seem to understand it, given okay. by that voice calling out. Okay. Okay, Tikaros. great. Yeah, knowing that then changes because I would have heard kind of all of that conversation. So I'm going to move up next to Hyrax. And I'm going to look at the, the leader dude. And I'm just going to say, please, if you know anything of this place, I'm a survivor and I need to find out what happened here. And within that six second exchange, he's going to just kind of look over at you and go, there were no survivors. Is there any that action you, you want to take of, <laughs> that I know of? There you go. That you know of. I say, uh, that's it. All right. Vera? Vera. Vera. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm going to town on this steak, dude. This is the best meal I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> right and goblin just... meat. Who knew? Oh, it's awesome. As a bear, I'm like, dude, this is awesome. There's like, there's like a tiny, like inner monologue part of the Vara that's still Triton. That's like, oh, this is gross. But the bear brain is like, yeah. So, um, I think I'm, I'm just being watchful. Uh, I think, especially since Hyrax kind of pointed, I mean, obviously I don't know Goblin, but I can 
I can still kind of, I feel like I got an idea of the fact that Hyrex was like noticing the one with the short bow. So I'm just kind of eyeing that one. And if he does start a fight, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and charge up an attack. Okay. So you're holding an action if the one, the I one with the, am. this guy on the end here attacks. Yes. But in it's the meantime, I'm, I'm munching. All right. Ptolemaeus. Uh, I am uh, out of character grabbing a bag of popcorn because I'm not really <laughs> doing much. I'm just watching this conversation, uh, and it's a great time. But yeah, I, I'm, still, I'm still kind of just chilling and watching everything going on. No, no uh, indication of, of violence yet. Okay. What was your last question, Hyrax? I'm sorry, we kind of... Um, oh yeah, I was asking, yeah, about the arrows. Uh, I don't remember what I was about to ask these okay. goblins. They're, they're black, they definitely don't match the, the clan arrows. Right, right, they don't match their arrows, okay. Um, you had run in with another goblin clan. He's just going to look, and having Tikaros has come in during this time and said what she said as well, so he's kind of going, it's going to be, look, I don't know what you want to do here. This isn't a good place to be. I'd recommend leaving. Did they and wield a kind of poison? One that destroyed whatever it touched. Are you talking about the previous arrows? You're just trying to do a history check, or are you asking? Oh, them I'm. I, he's he's asking them if those goblins that fired the arrows at them had those had that poison that that they had in the cave to make sure. Like he, he wants to. It is the goblins that killed the uh, dryad, right? The well, these aren't the same goblins, but it was goblins. Oh, okay. I thought the black arrows would have belonged to the. Well, they had they had black arrows that that looked very similar to these. Okay, that's why he's asking if the goblins, the goblin clan that they met, he's asking them if the goblin clan that they fought okay. with had that poison. What poison? What are you talking? Uh, look, I'm. Good. We're going to be on our way. You're not going to tell her what happened here not my business and he actually starts to turn away from you the other goblins do not but he turns as if he's going to walk away it's so frustrating that he won't talk about it i'm going to look at tikaros what do you think do you still want to kill them he says no. in he says in in Sylvan. Oh, nice. Then I respond. No, I don't want to kill them. I was just trying to be tough. But I really want to know. How, how can we persuade them? They know something. And he looks, the, the one with the face mask looks over and goes, You're tough. It's fine. In perfect Sylvan. <laughs> The other goblins are just kind of look at him like, what? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's um, interesting. Vara Bear is going to make like a, a noise and sniff at the gift that she's been eating and kind of in, like try to imply and like nose it towards the goblins to imply like, in order to get information, you need to give something in return. To which he goes, oh, I see. No, I have no information. We're going to leave now. You can go back to your friends, bear or whatever you are. <laughs> Sad bear noise. <laughs> <laughs> Sad bear noises. I did that on a t-shirt. <laughs> So they are going to turn the one the one with the red dot actually kind of, you know, he picks up his bag and he's keeping an eye. He's kind of, you know, walking backwards a bit. The other ones are just turned and they're going to start heading off. The one who's keeping an eye on us, Hyrax stares him dead in the eyes the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, 
if you aren't going to do anything to stop them, they are going to move off into the woods. Uh, I will. That, that's up to everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do one last thing if they're moving, moving. Okay. I want to speak in his head again. Okay. And just say one more try. I'm going to say. My husband, my whole family were killed here. I have no answers. Please, if you know anything. And as he's walking away, he looks back and loudly in Sylvan now says, sorry for your loss. Oof. I look at Hyrax. Now I want to kill him. <laughs> Do you know the way to Tavi? Are you asking him? Yeah, he's calling out as they're leaving. Just one last thing to see if they respond. <laughs> he, he just stops dead in his tracks and turns around and goes, Where do you think you are? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Do you know the way? And as he, t as he turns around, he goes, Stupid ranger. Name the Tessans and their little bear army. <laughs> 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 so they're going to make their way off into the woods he hears him say little bear army and he looks over at vara and he grumbles to himself that's not what that means <laughs> it takes a long sip <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was frustrating. Yes, it was, but I wasn't going to spill first blood. No. I guess we investigate more. We know this is the right place. Um, since I'm in bear mode, I'm gonna stay in bear mode for a little bit. If I could go back over to the earth womb, as it is referred, <laughs> I'm gonna try okay. to get I'm gonna try to get like a good scent on it and then see if that scent leads me to anywhere else interesting other than um T. Carosa's home. Uh you definitely would pick up T. Carosa's scent since she was just there digging around in it. Um, uh, but not really anything else. As a matter of fact, as you kind of smell around, you don't pick up the scent of other creatures than your party who have been in here. Including not really maybe some maybe a rabbit here or there, something. And from the north, you pick up the scent of goblins who've been traipsing back and forth through, but you really don't pick up the scent of any other animals that you know would be around this place. Normally you'd have something making a home in the debris from this. But no, there's nothing. I'm gonna walk off out of the village and see if there's like a perceptible line like okay. if there's like i'll just kind of start wandering as a bear sniffing um probably towards the direction we came just so i can pass by adrasto so he knows that i'm where i'm going um okay. and i would just wander to see if there's like is there a magical barrier that i can eventually kind of sense or is there like a certain animals stay so you're kind of going to go away or kind of going to go yeah. around the perimeter I yeah i'll start basically. i'll start walking off kind of back in the direction we came pass by the cart and adrastos um and then ideally hit like a perimeter where i finally like oh animals live here and kind of see if i can feel a barrier and maybe even follow it around the perimeter yeah okay uh that's going to take a little bit of time Sure. So while you're doing that, I'll give you your result in a minute. But while you're doing that, yeah. uh, let's check in and see what everybody else is going to do. At this time, I'll be turning to Hyrax and just. You notice those black arrows, right? When the ones in from their sack, do they seem similar to the ones that we dealt with before? In the cave, yes. That's why I asked about the poison. Fortunately, they didn't seem to know anything, so either it's a different clan with similar arrows, or they don't have any more of that. But here's a thought. They look like they were grabbing some sort of loot. They said it was gifts? I'd say 
Why not go and trace back where they came from? That could be another... Another thing to check out. Not a bad line of thought. Let's see if I can find some tracks. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so I'll look where they walked from and see if I somebody's what? laughing over something. I missed it. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I I had I had the Discord open and I saw what Z posted and Oh, I, I haven't I, I don't have Discord open, so <laughs> it's fun. It's I'll a, have it's to save sh- my laugh for later. Yeah. It's a good I'm one. I'm sorry. Um I'm sorry about that. Uh yeah. Uh I think that's the only thing. I'll I'll just be like if anything, I feel like Var is trying to do something uh, right now in bear form, so let's let's try if we're just going to stay around the area to see if we could retrace the steps of the goblins. Uh, so that will be a survival because you're tracking Irax. Uh, mm-hmm. Vara, they're going to be tracking while you're doing the perimeter check. What you find, Vara, is going around the perimeter... It's not like I, a circular perimeter. It's actually more kidney bean shaped than anything. So you've kind of got this rounded edge and it kind of swoops in a little bit. Um, and you can tell this because of where the trees have been cut off and grown up. So they're even moving off into the wood line. There's a place where things were leveled at that one foot layer. And things, the wildlife really just doesn't encroach past that area where it's been cut off, where it had been uh, shaved at one time. Even though trees and stuff have grown back, they just don't seem to venture into it. Hmm. And I don't sense any kind of magical barrier that's preventing them. It's no, just kind of the animals have a have a feeling. They that just don't place. seem to want to go there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, Can I be um, giving Hyrax advantage if I'm helping him? I don't. I I already rolled. Uh, it is a natural twenty for a twenty-six. Oh, okay. Fair. I don't think he needs it. Yeah, I don't think he needs my help at all. <laughs> I think he's doing all right. I appreciate uh, it though. Yeah. I mean, you know where they came out at, so it's fairly easy to pick up their tracks and follow back in. And you follow back into this grove of trees. And you find there's like a small cave. Oh, I'm going in. (gasps) I'm going to see if there's anything immediately visible. If there's not, if it goes in too deep, like say more than a, more than like one move action deep, I'm going to come back out and wait for the party. You look inside here and you have dark vision, fairly good dark vision. Uh, the cave entrance goes in about 30 feet and then appears to open up. So it, it kind of has a bit of a downward angle and kind of swoops okay. in. And then it definitely looks like it's going to open up into something larger. Okay. So there's nothing super apparent um, in, that, in, in that 30 feet of entrance. Uh, it looks well worn. I'm going to come back out. Um, did Ptolemaeus come with me? Uh, yeah, I would have. I would have. Sorry. I'd be like around this area. It, opens. The it widens out after about 30 feet. Another I... red cave. Possibly. There's no telling how far it goes unless we go all the way. With with that with that check, I'm gonna say, and your perception, I'm gonna say that you pick up the definite odor of goblins. But it's definitely a goblin cave, which doesn't surprise me. With those arrows, I would assume that it was a skirmish with other goblin clans. There might be goblins inside then, if they were so adamant about being them being gifts. I find it just as likely that the goblins inside are dead if they took those gifts. Yes, but 
Still could be something living back there. We should wait for everybody else for sure. Agreed. Someone should probably get addressed to us. <laughs> yes, let's head back. Uh, I'm going to uh, walk back towards the the cart. And okay. kind of motion for Prime to follow, if, if anything. We'll just kind of like, let's regroup for a bit. Let me ask Tikaros what she's doing since she went back to the Earth womb. Yeah. This whole time she has gone back to the earth womb. <laughs> <laughs> and just I think just trying to make peace with it somehow, just lying down, staring up at the sky during this time. Not in the hole though. You're <laughs> just on top will do. Not gonna climb back into the rocks. Okay. No, we're not digging up that trauma. Just on top. <laughs> okay. So Prime will actually uh, kind of be watching over here for when Ptolemaeus signals he'll he'll look at Tikaros, but he'll follow along, not not super happily, but he doesn't really want to leave her alone over there. But everybody, um, I guess, re regroups back at the wagon. Uh, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll I'll just also be around the area and call out and just Tikaros, are you all right over there? Yeah, I'm coming. I just, I wish I was smarter or something for you all. I wish I had better memories. I just have nothing. Is it amazing? You remembered where you came out of the rock from? You remembered your, your house and everything? It's enough. Let's, okay. let's regroup first. We have... Another discovery we might have to go and check out. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll I'll just kind of wait until she comes with along, and then just follow back in towards the cart. Yeah, Laura okay. will lumber back and just take a seat by the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once Tikaros and everybody gets back, and it's clear that you know we're, we're regrouping here. Adrasus is going to jump down, he's going to put his shield in the cart, and then Tikros is just going to get a big one-armed kitty cat hug. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sad bear noises. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything, but it's it's definitely a hug of understanding. Um, well, she just burrows into you for a bit and won't let go for a little while. She'll probably just hang into that a bit. Yep. He, he lets it happen for as long as she needs it. And I will stay silent until that moment has passed. Mm -hmm. Kind of give them the actual, the actual moment. <sighs> well, we're here. This is Tavi. Confirmed. We didn't get any answers from the goblins, but retracing the steps to where the goblins came from, we found another cave. Hyrax mentioned that could be a goblin cave. And depending on how the goblins got their gifts, the goblins inside could be alive or dead. Mm. Regardless, I think we should go check it out together. Agreed. What of our companion? He will indicate the woman laying down on the cart. <laughs> Feel like someone should I, stay behind I don't. In the I don't want to see any goblins. <laughs> Perhaps it should be one of us who can't see in the dark. I feel like it should be me. I can't see anything in there. Just a moment. Would you feel better if you had somewhere definitely safe to stay? Well, yes. I mean, of course. There's a trick I learned when I was stationed in the Deadmire. And he takes out a length of rope. I know what you're doing. <laughs> throws one end to the into the air, and that end seems to just hang there and disappear even. He says, as he casts a 
rope trick. If you climb this rope, it will take you to a safe space. You can pull the rope in. No one will know that you're there. You should be safe for an hour. What happens after an hour? Do I, do I fall out? Yes. But but we won't so, take that long. Are you sure? Do you promise? I promise. Okay. And so she will climb the rope. I feel regardless of whether or not she's safe, someone still needs to look after the cart. And I'm not at my best in, in dark situations like that. Well, Prime, neither can you, can am you I. See the dark? I can't see in the dark either, Tolly. Yes, it's so it's either either of us. Prime, can you see in the dark? Well, yes. You should take Prime with you. Are you certain? Wonderful. But I can make lights. We don't have to stay behind. We can make lights so we can see, and we could just hang back a little bit. Someone still needs to look after the wagon. Still, That's we'll be quick fun. then. You can climb that rope too. You'll be able to see out of it, so you can still watch the wagon, but no one will know that you are there. Yeah. An invisible investigator should keep anyone from getting the jump on you. Sounds good. Meanwhile, while we've been having this discussion, Prime is digging through the different little pouches of things that he's collected along the way. And he's going to walk over to Ptolemaeus and he's going to take a dried carrot and kind of crumple it up and smash it into your forehead. <laughs> and he's going to go, Ow. See, just... I haven't tried this one before, but it should work. You should be able to see now. Okay. Um. And I just kind of like wipe a little bit of the, <laughs> the, the carrot and I was just, I don't know how to test it other than going with it. But as I said, someone needs to protect the wagon. So. Who's going to do it? It's just a Oops. wagon. Who cares about a wagon? All of our supplies are in there. Ah. There's no... We could hide it. Why don't we move it um, further in? There doesn't seem to be anyone except the goblins who care to come in here. and They didn't care to come deeper into the... That is true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling more and more like I cast Rope Trick for no reason. <laughs> it's looking like that. <laughs> Well, we're going to take an hour just figuring out what to do, it looks like. so. <laughs> no, the, yeah. she's still okay. safe. That's great. She's still safe. And it doesn't matter if a wagon gets hurt. So let's just hide it and let's go. I would prefer to have our entire clan with us if we're going into a strange cave. Approving bear noises. <laughs> 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 I'm being a little overly cautious then. Just don't want us to come back out and not have any supplies for the for the trip back. I don't think there's any such thing as overly cautious, considering what we've seen. I can stay with the wagon as I usually do, if that is your preference. I set no. my entire clan, Prime. Yeah, seconded. Still be a little bit more useful than 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 us, had you not have given me whatever you've given me. I was just reading some of the materials that I brought along. Let's try it. Let's try what you said. I doubt anybody is going to desecrate this place or be brave enough to get into this place anyways. Uh, move the I cart will closer to Tikros's old house. Okay. The earthworm will look over the cart. <laughs> Earth how are the wind? horses? How are the how is the horse feeling? Moving there, by the way. Doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Okay. I am not going to draw a horse. I'm just going to draw a square for the horse. So. 
So what's this little dot here? That's a that's a mistake. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> right. That's what we call a mistake. <laughs> I thought I thought, I, don't, I don't know what I thought. I thought that was something else. I was like, oh my god. Well, you know, um, it is a horse. Oh yeah, that's a big one, but <laughs> that would make sense. It would definitely make sense. All right, let's get let's let's all go down. Yay. What did uh, Prime give give me again? Dark vision. Just just dark vision, right? Okay. Just dark vision. Just. Let's let's I just don't remember the components for it. Little happy person is inside. Uh, the components. Of the components are indeed like a dried carrot, I believe. Dried yeah, carrot I... or an agate. Carrots are good ah. for your eyes. That is true. I see you, Mister Gygax. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna position myself towards the 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 whole cave, which now I can see that I'm going to. Uh, All right, for everybody so, to be there. Uh, Adrastus there is the gonna cave? post up in front, kind of just like indicate with his shield that he wishes to lead. Hmm? All right. The the entryway um, is fairly narrow for the that first thirty feet. Uh, Probably a person and a half wide. That's goblins can go two by, but you guys are a little bit bigger, so I think it's going to be single file. Person and a half wide. Ooh, it'll be tight for Adrastus. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> He's a big boy. Right. But he'll go in shield forward, not necessarily like a. What's the word I'm looking for? Not in a testudo advance, but just kind of like keeping it up so he can lift it if he needs to. All right. You all make That's your not way. Just a goblin cave. That looks testudo, like a goblin testudo. fortress. Which one is it, Tim? I'm sorry. Is it testudo or tets tetsudo? Testudo, I believe. Thank you, testudo. Yeah. That's what I, I thought. That's right. But I wanted to make sure. I had, yeah, I'm sitting here going, "Damn, <laughs> don't, put don't put me on the spot. Don't put me on the spot." I'm I'm not in turtle mode. <laughs> I'm going to give you your polar bear token back here in just a minute. Thanks. Since I have Dude. to. Uh, Associate it with your character, so give me just are a these, moment. Are these bear. trees or mushrooms? Those are fungal. Those are fungal. Yeah. Oh, that's Ooh. fun. Yes. Yeah, that this is looking like a <laughs> goblin fortress. I'm just saying it's not a it's not just a little mm -hmm. nice fun. <laughs> well, I'm assuming do you it. don't just go Love charging it. into this uh oh, area. No, no, no. So I want to sneak up. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm moving with care. Okay. Not stealth, necessarily. Care. But care. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I want to make sure uh, this reveal area is doing good enough here. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal a little bit more to make sure you can see there's a path that goes off that way. Cool. And there's like a an, an actual just wooden palisade in mm -hmm. front of yeah, us. Yeah, those are, those are actual. They're going to be about 10 feet tall. But they are a tower. The The ceiling in this area is 20 feet tall in all directions. And it looks like it's been hollowed out by hand, not a natural occurrence. Is there any visible guard at the palisade or any kind of from where you're at? Standing watch? From where you're at, I'm going to say uh, you wouldn't be able to tell yet unless you're using some uh, wonderful sense to do that. If you'd like to do a perception and tell me what you're trying to perceive, we can see. I will sniff for life, since I am a kitty cat man. I'll sniff. <laughs> All right. We can do I, a sniff. Joint nose sniff. powers activate. And while while that's <laughs> happening, I will pat Adrastos on the right side of his back and point over to the right side, kind of indicating that's where I I personally want to go and check out first. This, this yeah, I was gonna there. say, can I go be a pain in the ass yeah. and go check out that? Well, I was uh, gonna say right without turning to indicate them, I'll just nod. So that if anyone is watching, I don't give it away. Okay. All right. And I will, I guess with my snooter, can I just help Vara since we're yeah. both sniffing? Okay. Have advantage, get, actually, on, your, have advantage, advantage on your sniffing for joints. I get advantage already as a bear. Um, I think specifically I'm kind of sniffing. I, I've picked up on the scent of goblin. So I think I'm kind of... Um, Sniffing 
Well, for if you that get advantage anyway, I'll just smell. go ahead and also sniff. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, damn. Advantage, advantage sniff. I'm getting slight hints of white truffle. Uh, 22. <laughs> All right. That doesn't That's, happen often. That wasn't with advantage. It's because I'm using my iron dice. A 20. Nice. <laughs> All right, a 20 and a 22. Uh, you definitely smell uh, the moldy mildew fungal smell of this place. Uh, you also get this acrid smell, and there's something in the, the air that's kind of eye burny. Not super bad, but definitely something that's given off an odor. You, you suspect it's probably coming from that green, watery pit looking thing. Um, the whole place kind of has that smell of animal, of goblin living in here. Mm -hmm but you definitely are picking up the smell that makes you think there's somebody not too far away. And you would suspect probably on top of those towers. They may not be able to see you yet where you're at, and you obviously cannot see them, but you definitely smell. There's somebody around here somewhere. I'm gonna... I will. Go ahead. I was going to say, Vara will give like a knowing look to Adrastos, like just kind of... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the dumb little bear act again, and she'll just kind of wander as if she is a, as if she's just a roaming bear who's wandered into this cave on accident and is sniffing around. And then Adrastos is going to kind of lean back a little bit towards Hyrax and Tully, tap his shield two times, and then indicate with his spear the palisade to kind of let them know that there's people up there. Uh, and Hyrax will, hmm, I guess he'll qu very quietly ask permission to head forward. You don't need my permission, but be careful. Know they're watching you. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna have you not, hold. He says, "I'm gonna have you hold for just a minute since Vara went out ahead of the group." That's fair. And I'm being closer. a cute little bear. I'm <laughs> just, I'm just sniffing and just kind of. <laughs> Hyrax, you, you actually understand what you hear. Uh, there's a bit of a rumbling, and it's not very loud, but you hear someone in Goblin say, "Look, look dinner." Yeah, I can get it. Hold on. And uh, you have very good perception. You pick up the sound of a drawstring on a bow being pulled. Uh, crap. Is there any way to warn Vara? Oh, no. These goblins are about to commit a very bad mistake. Yeah. Um, let's see. How does this work? I think we need to roll initiative. Of all the party yeah. members to attack where Adrastos can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a silly little bear. Attack me and feel the wrath of my party. <laughs> Twas my plan. That is the most evil thing I saw. <laughs> I can take Ooh. an arrow, but you can't that, take the that full gives, force of whatever happens by back, back That here. gives a whole new meaning to bear baiting. I know, right? <laughs> That's that was the plan. I was gonna have some <laughs> random person attack me and go, ha ha, ha, ha idiot. Oh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a beloved what? party member. You've pissed people off. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. My uh, initiative didn't go to the track, but it was a twenty. Adrasos is about to have his Vegeta moment. <laughs> Don't touch my fire! <laughs> okay, so uh, Ptolemaeus, I don't believe we have you yet. Yes, I'm going to try something. To... Oh, hell yeah, Vara. Look at that 20. Hello. <laughs> I'm such a keen bear. Oh, the gobbies rolled 20? Damn. Oh, I am in absolute shock over this. Prime got a 22. Prime! <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, wow. More like... Uh, yes. <laughs> Good job, Prime. So, okay. Whoop, whoop. Okay, Ptolemaeus? is on there oh okay never mind and, uh, yeah oh i just remembered i can give myself bare ears hold so, on <laughs> there's no light right they're relying on dark vision 
Yes. Well, Sorry. in this area, there is oh no light. Oh my Correct. god. So I'm invisible. Oh. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that Zoom Actually, has this feature. Wait, everyone's relying on dark vision, right? Technically, I'm invisible to all of you if I want to be. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I only got a fourteen. All right, hold on. All right. Well, very simply. Prime doesn't know what's doesn't know anything's going on because he didn't hear all this. Vara, you've already taken your movement out there. You're not specifically aware of anything that's going on, but I will give you an opportunity to take your since you're wandering out here. Maybe you noticed some of this conversation going on behind you. I don't know. Is there anything you'd like to do? I've stolen uh your idea, Vara. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, this is going to uh, be a weekly thing now, right? Oh, yes. yeah. I, I, oh, I, I think, think, okay. I think we're, yeah. Only in wild shape. I, don't, I do not want to be a fish the whole game. <laughs> um, let's see. I think I would go ahead and just kind of. Is there a way for them to get down from the Palisade from where they are? I guess through the gate, huh? From what you can see, I would say there's not. So I was looking for a <laughs> goblin, but all I could find was the cow. That's good. I like so it. So we're just going to have to go We're not fighting with any minotaurs, are we? <laughs> I was to say, if, if when I fight Crassus, he doesn't look like that. Yeah, it looks great. Um, I think Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. If I get the feeling that there's about to be some... Oh, combat. Um, sorry, I'm just a sleepy bear. Uh, I think I would go ahead and just kind of start charging towards the gate to try to see if I can get them to come out and fight us on equal footing. So all of a sudden, I think I'll, I'll kind of notice them okay. up there and then just charge at the gate and make loud bear noises and try to, I don't know, I guess intimidate? Roar. Ah. Roar. All right. So you move up into the area. I'm trying to reveal a little bit more so you can see them. They You're will good. have moved up to the front. One of them had already drawn his bow back and was taking aim. So when you come charging forward, he's going to track you with that because dinner, you know. Yeah. Well, they don't get many animals like this wandering in here, so... Probably not. That is a 14. 14 to hit? To hit. That does it. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm a bear. Nope, that does it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> so, we'll bear with you. Does that hit or not? Oh, barely? Well, that does hit. Okay. That is going to be a whopping three piercing damage. Ugh. Oof. Dang. All right. Noted. At which point the other one's going to go, that wasn't a good shot. Idiot, aim for the brain. Hyrax, you're up. Uh, Hyrax is going to, to quickly and quietly move up um, if he can. Out here and uh, so uh does being up unseen give me uh advantage uh, i i think it might give you some uh them disadvantage to attack you but i don't see how it's going to give you advantage uh, are you thinking like some kind of a sneak attack or something or i'm trying to envision um, that Let's see just because not being aware of me i know ac isn't just armor it's the ability to dodge things so it's with the yeah. unexpected you know what I'm, I'm in a good mood go for it let's 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 Thanks. do it like a sneak attack so. i appreciate that you, um, you're very welcome so attacking unseen i'm going to take out a dart and do a sharpshooter shot at Whichever one just attacked. 
Uh, that'll What's be that? this. I'll mark them so you can tell which one's which. There you go. The one marked in red. All right. He's going to throw it dead at him. Uh, that should cancel. No, wait. That won't cancel at disadvantage. It's a minus five to the attack. Uh, that right. Which means that is a 15 to hit. That is good enough. All right. And that is going to be. Uh, yeah, it goes. I guess, see, I do get that reference. <laughs> That's going to be. E4 and a T8. That is. What was it? Uh, 10 plus 10, 20 uh, piercing damage to that goblin. Ooh. Oh my word. Uh, yeah. But your dart sails up over the edge, hits him square in the head, and he just kind of freezes and then falls over backwards. All right. Anything um, else? And then. Yes, I have uh, another attack. I'm going to throw a sharpshooter shot at this other goblin as well. Okay. Um, let me pick up. Which, with advantage, is a natural 20. All right. right. So that is... What, what's the max damage on that? Uh, that, uh, max damage is seven plus 10 because it's sharpshooter would be 17. He's down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Uh, Absolutely down. And that's my turn. All right. I'm going to go ahead and leave our initiative order up. Okay, and not have to re-roll any time we run into anything in the cave, because we might run into multiple things. Who knows? So, but I will say, for the moment, uh, any visible threat has disappeared. Down the edge of the palisade, and there's blood running down where they were. Those threats are gone. All right. Well... Well, some guards. So. I don't want to make too much of a show on breaking down this this gate yet. Let's check the right side. Very well. I Vara just kind of swats the arrow, <laughs> like at, I imagine it hit like her shoulder or something. Just kind of swats it out of her shoulder angrily, like what the heck? <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> Amateurs. She'll keep. She'll keep being bare though. All right. So you're gonna make your way down the uh, the pass. Quad off. Yes. Arax yeah. will follow along, helping the scout out the path. All right. Uh, there's a there's a lot of, of right side. Yeah, it goes on very long, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, lot, a lot more right pool. side than expected. It's a little concerning. <laughs> to another pool of mushrooms. I'm going to move out of the way to let Hyrax get ahead, because he can see further than me. It's fair. Uh, I uh, and I also, you know, I might. It's spring any traps um no it's i'm kidding i'm kidding um no i'm joking uh on the map it looks like it is lighter here is there actually light in this area pam uh no there is not okay well that's good i was gonna say yes the guy who cut off his own arm to get to his party is definitely self-serving no i'm just <laughs> i'm not i'm not being serious i know um Oops. i will keep my that. That's not supposed to happen. I saw the edge <laughs> of a token. 
There's no token um, there. I don't know what you're talking about. The trap is sprung. <laughs> Uh, so I continue to see walls around this, right? And this is definitely a fortress. Uh, Ptolemaeus definitely, was correct. Definitely something built up there, yeah. Now, is it there... would go on a little bit further to the right, to the east, but eventually it's going to be stone wall, and that river's just going to flow, you know, into hmm. that stone wall. But it is a Does... very putridy, not a very friendly-looking uh, liquid. Do we... Do we find another gate or just walls? Uh, that is a gate in the middle that you're standing in front of. Okay, great. Um, another question is, are there any handholds to possibly scale this wall? If not on the wall itself, <sighs> then on a nearby like stone wall. I honestly think you could probably chimney climb that. And if you don't know what that is, because I don't know what your climbing experience is. Um, you could wedge your fingers in between the, uh, the gaps in the wood mm. and kind of use that. To, just shimmy up. Yeah. Probably shimmy up that All right. way. I would like to try to do that. Okay. Um, I do have a natural climbing speed for like normal climbing, but given that this is something special, do you want me to roll athletics? Yeah, let's roll athletics, see how easy it is for you. But you're, you're basically climbing the palisade. Sure. Um, the tower, athletics, right? that how? is a... 10. How tall is the palisade? Uh, 10 feet. Can I just kind of lift him up? <laughs> uh, if you want to assist him by lifting him, I think that's great. Okay. Absolutely. That'll get him up over the boost wall. Boost me? Yeah, I'll boost you with my seven and a half foot height. <laughs> All right. Would that give me the advantage then? Because I rolled a 10. Uh, at, I don't, I think we could bypass the roll at that point because right. he's going to lift All you right. high enough. So wonderful. It was a wonderful hey, idea we'll, uh... a little after the roll, but that's cool. We're, we'll roll with it. All right. Uh, he gets up there and then is going to see. Uh, is there anyone uh, guarding the other side, or can I shimmy down and try and get the gate open for the rest of the party? Uh, you make your way onto the top of that platform, and I am trying to get the reveal to work. So bear with me. As... You have to click it like twice for it to. It, it, it's it actually. Hides it again. It's like four times. It's it's become like a a little. Click, 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 OCD action, you know, click, 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 click. Right. So once you make your way on top of the palisade, uh, you recognize something standing down in the shallows when it actually uh, recognizes about the same time that there's somebody here that probably shouldn't be. Uh-oh. Uh oh, oh no, another bear of the bug variety. And he looks up at you and... <laughs> Mm, and begins to make his way your direction. Wait, but Tam, mm. but Tam, it says, it says, uh, while in darkness, you're invisible to any creatures that rely on dark vision to see you in that darkness. Does it have something else? Can it smell uh, me? Yes. Yeah, I think it can smell you. Oh, Shows. crap. Oh, that's <laughs> not good. I don't want that. I can uh, smell you. Can I climb up the other palisade? <laughs> other side? You're going to bear climb it? I've yeah. got a climbing speed. I understand. I'm like, that's an interesting idea. How tall is your bear? I'm a bear. I've got a 30 foot climb speed. Um, black bears are medium beasts. Let me see. Can I, can I provide a stable pl I, climbing platform for the I, bear? I gave our friend my rope. Uh, I am big and strong, and this is what I'm good for. I will say, yeah. I will say, yes, you can, but I'm going to put you on hold for that because Hyrex is on the top of this. The bugbear has noted he is there, and we're going to be in their initiative order for just a moment. So, Hyrex, you're up at the moment. Then we'll oh move boy. everybody else in. Okay. Uh, I'm not interested in starting a fight without my party right now. I would like to evade him and get down to the gate to see if there's a way to open it. I imagine it's just latched with like a piece of wood across it or something, right? Oh, that is correct. It's just latched. Uh, I'm going to try and while he's coming up here to check on me, I'm going to try and get down there without being noticed and see if I can just carefully get it open. Okay. Uh, he is going, as you said, you are not visible cannot see you but so he's kind of just smelling at the air and listening so um 
give me a stealth to see how quietly you're able to move across and do this. Okay. And I assume you're doing it from the top of the fence. You're not going down onto the ground to do it. Uh, yeah. Um, that's a, <laughs> that's an eight. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you're not going to do this very quietly. The question is, how well are you going to do this? And since you have a climb speed and, all, and some athletes, I'm just going to give you credit that you're able to make your way out onto the fence if you want to. Are you trying to get the center binding of it or undo the, the edges of it, the hinges? That's what I'm trying to follow. Um, uh, I was trying to get down to the center of it. Okay, so in that case, you're going to have to scale across this wood gate, which is, you know, fairly narrow, but we'll get you, yeah. say you're out here, say around the middle, so about there? About there, yeah. Okay. Well, and you're also a little bit noisy about it, so this creature is going to make his way in. And he is going to, because he can't see you, he's going purely by smell. He's going to get disadvantage as he starts jabbing around at you with a javelin. <laughs> I gave him a disadvantage and he rolled a three on both die. So I would say he pretty well misses and pegs the, okay. pegs the wood of the fence around you, but doesn't hit you. Okay, that's very good. I'm glad <laughs> of that. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't know what much I can do about that at the moment with him right there. Uh, okay. It's, I, don't, I don't think it's even my turn right now, is it? Or is it? I was going to say, if, if we're ready, what I'm going to do is move back to the top of the uh, turn order. Yep. Uh, yep. Prime was that. not directly in the room. So, Vara, you were trying to get up the uh, palisade on the Bubbles other side. The bear. I sure was. Black bears are six feet on average. And, and you were going to climb. Assisted. And you're... I'm just going to give you credit. You're able to get... You're able to get a paw over the top and pull yourself up. Nice. All right. So you know we're on top of the palisade. So are the tower. So you are aware. Irex is standing in the middle of this fence. Somebody's jabby jabbing at him from the uh, ground. I'm going to roar really loudly at the bugbear. I'm going to walk over to the uh, side and just roar. <laughs> try, to, try to throw him off. That will definitely Aww. get his attention. So. Nice. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, as that has gotten Buggles the bugbear's attention. I love that name. Thank you. It's very I, good. I, I kind of liked it. He is going to turn and head over this way and make his way up the stairs. And once at the top of the stairs, because he's too close to throw it now. He's going to stab at you with his javelin. Here. And I, I have a feeling a 10 is probably not going to hit. It does not. Yeah, so he jabs at you. It does not hit. Hyrax. Uh, right. I would like to jump down and just open the gate for my party if I could. Okay, it's only a 10-foot drop, so I assume you could I... you know, hang off the edge, go down, untie it. So that'll yep. take your action to do all that. So no problem. Okay. And you can actually even open the gate some if you want to. Yep, I'll, I'll start pushing it open. All right, it pushes outwards. So, creak. it's open. And um, Tikaros. If I, yeah, if I still ahead. get a free object interaction, I would like to take out my shield. Very good. All right. Tikaros. <clears throat> cool. I cannot see a thing. So mm -hmm. what I've been doing is hanging back in the corridor. I've got my four little glowing dancing light orbs up around me. Okay. And I'm guessing I would have heard Vara's roar if that was right. super loud. So yeah. what I will do is I will cast Mage Armor on myself. And then I'm going to use my movement to get closer. But that'll be my turn. 
for this right. round. And your lights are coming with you, I assume. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just <clears throat> direct them behind me, but enough, like, so I've got that 10 foot radius. I can still kind of see and I'm just moving cautiously. Okay. With them slung out behind me now. Very good. Ptolemaeus. You said that the uh, the palisade up here is like about, what, 10 feet tall? Yes. Do I have, if at this angle, do I have any sort of sight on the bugbear? You know, he's he's medium height. He, I mean, you can see Var. I'm going to assume you can see him. I'm going to just play it easy on this and say, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Since it is like kind of like it, I could barely, kind of barely see him. I'll use that. Uh, I will m move around to this side to see if I can get a better angle of it and just watch everything that's happening right now. I'm not gonna do particularly anything, but I will. I have some. Uh, some barbs that are silvery that I could potentially, <laughs> All right. uh, you know, react with, but that's it now. All right. Adrastos, the gates have swung open. Okay. I'm going to make my way inside then. Right. 10, mm -hmm. 15, 20, 25, 30. Hello, Buggles. <laughs> I've got bad news. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to do a fainting attack All on right. Buggles the Bear here. I'm sorry, it's really funny when you look off to the side because it's like your face is <laughs> twisted off towards the screen. What? <laughs> no, <I> just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I um, I'm actually gonna, that, that's fun. That's fun, but we're, we're not gonna do that anymore. I'll do, I'll do it for every session, but for right now, <laughs> let's see. So, uh, um, well, with advantage, two fourteens, which is twenty one total. All right. Does that hit? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Six. Six. Um, for eighteen damage. All right. Attack the second. Okay. That's even higher. And it's even hideous. Yes. It's hideous? Hideous? Oh, uh, seven damage. All right. Um, and do... Oh, I'll use my bonus action. Okay, and that'll be my turn. All right. Excellent. Prime is going to uh, see what's going on here and uh, just kind of hang out between the two, Tikaros and Ptolemaeus. Not quite sure what he can add to the fight at this point. Vera. Sick. <laughs> I multi attack. Bear. <laughs> this poor bug bear. I bite. Ooh, the bite got a 14. That is a miss. All righty. And then I claw. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> oh, no. That's also uh, not a good hit as his armor deflects it. I've been relying on just roaring a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I would just, I would get so caught up in my bear, like, imitation i'm like rawr, rawr, like just being a bear and i just completely am not paying attention to where i'm actually hitting <laughs> i'm just i'm just having a good old time as a bear <laughs> cool so uh having been beat on quite a bit from this leonin who appeared out of nowhere this bugbear is a bit taken aback as he's attacked by a bear as well he is going to uh disengage there's no place really for him to go, so he is going to back up into the corner over here. And he is going to yell out in Goblin, Help! At the East Gate!
Irax. Just realized I'm muted. See, I'm not good at deception, but there's something I want to try. But no, it won't work. It's a stupid idea. Never mind. Um. All right, so we're scrapping with this thing, right? I'm going to just throw my javelin at it. Um, I'll cast Hunter's Mark on it real quick. Then give a throw. With an 11 to hit. That is a miss. All right, extra attack. Uh, 10 to hit. All right. That is also a miss. That's two javelins sunk in the wall. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, okay. That's all of my, that's everything that I've got. All right. Two Happens to the best of us, Hyrex. <laughs> sure does. Oh, Prime. I turn to Prime. How exciting is this? I can't see anything though. Bonus action. I'm going to direct my dancing lights 60 feet just in a line 20 feet apart into the room so that I can actually see what's happening in here. All right. So kind of like then, something like this yeah, there, maybe? Yeah. But just guess. That's it. pretty okay. good. Just, psh, I'll just go, all right. Well, I can help, I guess. I guess I can help. I'm going to, if I can see the good old buggles up there <laughs> now. I'm going to move in, and I'm going to throw a firebolt at Buggles. <laughs> All right. For a great big 14 to hit. That is a miss. Gosh darn it. And I'm going to stand here and ready myself. That's it. All right. Well, a miss. Um... Seeing as how all of this is, I'm going to move right outside here. And how is how is how is Buggles looking? Buggles does not look good. All right. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. That's. Uh, I mean. I mean. It's. <sighs> What else could I do but but do uh grab once again kind of like the star kind of picking out the stars in in the area of 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 like my hair and stuff and just uh toss the eldritch blast at him twice. All right. And uh it's very unfortunate because the first one is going to be a 15 miss. Okay. And then the second one is going to be a natural 20. Nice. Which is a hit. I know that's hard to believe. But... Okay. Um. So that's going to be <sighs> hard to believe. Uh, it's going to be 14 damage. The first uh, blast hit deflects off the, the wood of the tower and just kind of splinters it, which gets his attention just enough that he looks over your way. The second blast catches him right under the chin knocks him off the edge of the tower to the ground where he falls dead. Great. Um, I will hurriedly kind of shout over to Hyrax. Just, you understood what he was saying. Did, was this something about reinforcements or what? He asked for help. Just a moment. Uh, it's probably a stupid idea. But you know what? As much as I said I wasn't going to go through with it, I might as well try. I'm going to cast Disguise Self to look like the bugbear. Okay. I'm going to move a little further that way and yell in Goblin, Post Alarm! 
Uh, performance, please. <laughs> oh. uh, nobody can help me. All right, no, nope. This is this is me going my doing my crazy shit. Uh, what are you saying? Seventeen. Mm. Ooh. All right. I believe in Hyrax, but I'm also cautious. I'm going to move up in front of Hyrax and just kind of post up. So you hear some movement in. As soon as you yell, you know, just kidding, you know, you kind of hear this grumble. And, oh, just quiet down there. And then you're going to hear something in Goblin. You can just barely make out. It's just above a whisper, but you have good hearing, Hyrax. Wait, I saw something move. And the other voices. It was just Buggles. No, it didn't look like him. It looked like a like a big cat. Um. Just a big cat found its way into the cave. I already killed it. <laughs> I just wanted to show what the skin looked like. Ah, uh, fine. That'll be your dinner tonight, idiot. No. Oh. But this does tell you, somewhere ahead, up that stone staircase, there's obviously some more guards posted. At least two, because you heard two different voices. Goblin Hyrax turns back. Do we really want to keep investigating this place? I think it's likely we'll run into more and more goblins as we continue. This is clearly bigger than the Dryad Cave. As much as I don't like violence for violence's sake, those black arrows need have an origin, and we've seen it cause trouble. Adrastos kind of scratches his stump. I don't wish this on anyone else. No. Buggles! Buggles, what are those lights down there? Lights? Is that in is that in uh, common or goblin? It's, it's in goblin. Uh, he looks around to see what lights we're talking about. Is it has Tikaros put up lights? Yes, mm -hmm. I miss it. Is they, it they're marked lights? on okay. the map. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, crap. Um, if he could turn to Tikaros and just be like, <laughs> yeah. And keep in mind, he looks like a bugbear right now, yeah, as well. So it just <laughs> probably looks kind of funny. Um, Hyrax was just asking about his javelins that he threw earlier. Where did they go? And we agreed they probably went on the far side of the gate. So he's going to rush out and get those. What is everybody else going to do during this time? That he's taking his 10 minutes to do that. I'm going to get ready to advance into the goblin camp. I'm going to go sniff at these, these mushrooms a bit more. I don't think we've really investigated them all that much. Uh, you have not. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a big old sniff. I need a Constitution saving throw, please. I knew it. <laughs> this is why you always roll nature first. <laughs> I don't need to roll nature. I'm a bear. Famous last words. Bears <laughs> don't roll nature. Bears don't get poisoned. Bear Constitution save was seventeen. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, you take a whiff of these, and 
they they do not smell good they whatever <laughs> whatever they are living on down here they're rather putrid to be honest mm. Mm. furthermore um, you begin hella tripping <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Man, with, if she hadn't got a 17 that we would have gone there but that bear's high as <laughs> shit I do that. I do that like dog thing where like a dog sniffs for a really long time and then looks up all of a sudden and just goes, <laughs> just like shakes their head. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, from back the direction you came to the west down that tunnel is where you hear it first. And then it begins to echo throughout. Someone is clanging on metal, kind of like some kind oh, of no. metal alarm, and it begins to be raised throughout. <gasps> Oh, no. They found the corpses. Oh. This is why I need to conserve rope trick for hiding bodies in extra dimensional space. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so he turns, uh, just drops the bugbear disguise. He's not going to bother. All right. I was just going to be like, seems like the, the main gate got found out. And it sounds like they're coming this way. Uh, the alarm is coming from all around. Everywhere. So to the okay. north of you and definitely okay. to the west of you. You can hear. You know it. what? I won't drop it just yet then. Right. Prime I is will going keep to disguised. Prime is going to make his way over. I think we may have alerted them. Yes, I think that's true. Possibly the two goblins that she dropped in the other gate. Are these steps, by the way? Yes, they are. Well, no, no point in just staying here, then. We're probably going to have to push in further. I'm going to put us in initiative order. What is because, what is Chud? Uh, cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. I just had to pick something, so <laughs> I went with Chud. Have you Excellent. not seen the movie? Are you not familiar? I haven't. With Chud. I've never oh, seen that. Yeah, it was actually cannibalistic human underground dwellers. It was the Chud program. <laughs> it was basically the uh, U.S. government uh, experimenting on homeless people, and they were living in oh. the sewers. So. Oh no. Yeah, it's wow. a horror movie or, you know, something. So anyway, <laughs> late 90s horror movie. So. Yeah, well, uh, I will move up a little further, but not like too much further up. I just want to see what's what's up ahead in front of us. All right. Well, it I'm is even, going to be I'm pretty uh, much a, getting ready to defend. It's going to be a pretty steep incline, so you're not going to be able to see much from where you're at until you get about halfway up. Um, All right, I'll go get but, about halfway up. Then. But let me, let's go ah. in turn order here. So oh, Prime oh, okay. is here first. Prime is going to be facing back in the direction of the uh, tunnel and back in and say, maybe we should get inside the gate and close it so then we only have to worry about one direction. Or we could be in sync. I was thinking. This. Watch out for them backstreet boys. <laughs> oh, God, it's a little warm. It's like 98 degrees in here. Oh, God. I've got 20 matchboxes. Wow. <laughs> you know, I used to be psychic, but then my third eye went blunt. Yep. Wait. I've led a semi-charmed life. Wait, is that a, is that a hiding place? <laughs> Three doors down from here. No, I don't know, but... Be careful of these mushrooms. Some of them look like red hot chili peppers. <laughs> I'm out. Bar oh, just begins <laughs> smashing pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> well, better than counting crows. <laughs> Let's just go. Stop. Anybody hungry? I have cranberries. That's it. This is the show now. This is the show. This is what we do now. I, we could, I, they could do this for hours, Chris. Don't say that. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> if I start I joining in, oh no. <laughs> Goodness. Great idea, Prime. <laughs> oh my God. So he is uh, going to grab one of the doors and uh, so that they can start closing it. 
Uh, and yep. I will move on to Vara, who is, is this her turn? Cool. Oh, I went ahead and moved. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I moved a little too far. Um, I'm just going to be over here. I don't think... Is there a chud visibly? Or no, it's just in the distance. Yep, you just hear the noises in the distance at this point. Visible Chud is a great band name. <laughs> we're, we're not going to commit to calling them Chuds, right? Oh, we're yes, I'm we committed. It's, it's, on the, it's on the turn order. Right. I'm sorry, I'll well, pick something I'm, better next time. But you know. I'm still disguised as a Chud Bear. Nice. Very good. Oh. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just... I just walked over here after smelling the, the mushroom, and I'm just still kind of shaking my head. And I just wanted to be near Adrestos and Tali. But I don't think I have anything. If if something comes into melee range, I'll attack it. But that's it for me. All right. Chudrax. Chudrax. <laughs> uh, I mean, better better a chud bear than a bear chud. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm just going to start heading up further. Further in this this direction, um, I believe I have thirty five speed of movement or feet of movement, so I can get up here. Okay. Assuming that that's not just sheer rock wall, I'm assuming that there's a path beyond that. There is. I'm trying to get roll twenty to cooperate as usual. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you very much. No, that didn't work. Oh, that's the opposite. Yep. It's click number two. Click number three. Holy crap. Attempt number four. Shh. Okay, it's being really obnoxious now. It's if being a get... piece of number two. Yes. Let's see if I can get this one to work. Yeah, that gave you a little bit of a view of what you could see from where you're yeah. at. So that's a little ah, bit. So like stairs. So, yep. I will ascend those and see what there is to see. Excellent, excellent timing. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and reveal the rest of what is up here. And it is now their turn as well, which works out really well for me. Uh, that was, let's see. So if I moved that far up, it would be probably a dash action. So I'll head up here and hopefully still looking like a bugbear. They will not attack me, but. I understand if they do. It's okay. Uh, that is my turn. You're gonna, but Buggles, what is it? What's down there? And I've got some other things to account for here. So they've got quite going. the setup down here. Yeah, they do. It's almost like somebody helped them set it up or something. We got a lot of colors going on too. Dang. Yeah, I just went ahead and marked everything so that we could, uh, you know, have that. You went down to pink and you had to double up the colors after pink? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared now. All right. So uh, from what you can see at this point. Oh, no, they've uh, gone to plaid. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have the people on the wall asking uh, Buggles what in the world is going on. That's going to be it for the moment. So, Tikaros, you're up. Oh, that's me. Prime, wait for me. Uh, can I, can I uh, bonus action, take dancing lights, put three of them into my cloak, and just have one kind of like, just trace sure. it in my hands as I run through the gate as okay. Prime's closing it, and just try and like shield the light, but just enough so I can see where I'm walking. Okay, and very good. For my action, I'm just going to take the dodge action. I'm just going to take dodge and be just like looking around. All right. Try and be defensive. Excellent. Olimaeus. Uh, I'm going to stay perched behind the, the steps for now, but I will now seeing is how we probably will get into a fight soon um once again uh 
look like I'm like shaking out the stars in my hair and have it like kind of uh bleed into my clothes as I cast Cloak of Stars as a bonus action again or activate that. All right. Uh, so that's what I'm going to. All right. Very good. Uh, yeah, Addressed. That's, that's all I'm going to use. Did we lose Adrestos? I just noticed there's. No, I'm just oh, okay. eating my dinner and oh, I didn't okay. want to be disgusting. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm here. I'm stealthed. <laughs> I'm the gloom stalker now. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm here. Um, okay, so I'm going to move up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Because I'm tired of all this nonsense. <laughs> and I'm going to throw a goblin at red. I throw a goblin, goblin a at red. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, going to throw a Do you have one in your pocket? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Obviously. Don't you? <laughs> I'm not going to throw a javelin at the red goblin. Uh, the ready pink one? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just going to be a standard throw. I'm not going to do any of my special goodies. Uh, natural 20. That's a hit. That's 18 damage. Or hold on. Not 18 damage. It's... Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 13 damage. You spear him straight through, and he falls to the ground, or to the base of the tower, dead. All right, how many of those do I have? Not many. Uh, oof. I can always uh -oh. hand you more. I have eight. Well, I have one left. <laughs> Not counting the one in my hand that I'd, like, spear with. So I will throw my second javelin at blue. Okay. I just love this... Leon and comes charged up and funk. <laughs> hey, Bugbear, what did you what say? Did you Nothing. Funk. Stands next to the bugbear and funk. I feel like there was a movie where there was a guy standing on a wall and he just got ballisted off the wall. And that's what happened here. That was Lord of the Rings. Uh, two Towers. Yes. Lord of the Rings. yes. It was also in Game of Thrones. It also happened in that Matt Damon movie from a couple of years ago. I can't remember the name of it, though. But, the yeah. Great Wall of China or something like something that? Something like that, oh, yeah. The yeah. Great Wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That honestly it might be what I was thinking of. Um, 21. That's it? For nine damage. He's dead. Damn, why are you making these guys so easy? Oh, I don't know. There's got to be some reason behind it, though. It's because there's a oh, lot of them. No. <laughs> oh, no, we're killing innocent goblins. We're bad guys. <laughs> that's true. Originally, yeah, that's true. Originally, we only just killed one that uh, wanted oh. to eat a bear. Are we the bad guys? Because they were hungry. And then, oh. and then we just killed ones that were upset that we invaded their home. <laughs> Even Sounds like a typical D and D party. Oh, anything else? Right. Uh, Address to us. I will just take out my final javelin and just hold it menacingly. All right. Prime is going to take this opportunity to close the gates and secure them with whatever binding there was before that Irex had undone. And then he is going to turn and go. Gates secured. What would you like me to do now? Nice work, Prime. Maybe we should just sneak up and look out for danger and help everybody else. All right. So he will move very sneakily forward to the bottom of the stairs. Vara. Um... I will go ahead and advance alongside everybody else. 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. I'm here and I, I roar at the ones on the palisade and try to keep their attention on me so everyone else can do their, do their stuff. All right. Irex. Uh, Buggles is going to reach back. Uh, fake Buggles, I guess. 
going to reach back, grab a javelin, and chuck it at uh, Pink Green. By the way, I want to note that I'm concerned that these guys have their own squad color to differentiate it from the presumable other squads that we're not seeing. Uh, yes. These guys be the pink, being the pink ones. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw. I learned from uh, the Tyranids, hordes of small, weak things are very dangerous. <laughs> that is a dirty 20. That is a hit. All right. And that is uh, nine damage. He is deceased. All right. And then with my extra attack, I draw another javelin and throw it. With a mm, nine to hit. Nine? Uh, that is yeah, that not going to hit. That one's not going to work out. Yep, but, that one's um, not going to hit. That's all right. Uh, then I'm going to use my move action to head up. Let's see. How tall are these? Same thing. Ten feet. How, ten feet? Yep. Uh, am I able to climb up? Uh, same as before. Of course, last time you had an assist, so... That's but, true. Do you want me to roll athletics to see if yeah, I can get up Yeah, let's roll in athletics and see if you have any issues getting up that thing. That is a 14. I'm going to say with your, with your climb speed, that gets you up. No problem. All right. Yep. Climbs up onto the palisade, faces down the last goblin from melee range, but I don't have any attacks left. That's my turn. All right. Hope you're going to get a view of what's going on behind here as soon as it lets me do it. Now it won't let me click anywhere. Uh, roll 20. Excuse me while I fight with roll 20 again for a couple of minutes. Uh, hi, Rax. No, he's been consumed by the darkness. <laughs> You think darkness is your ally? There we go. Belongs to the shadows now. But bears. So, first thing that's going to happen is as Vara is growling out, this other bugbear over here is going to come charging forward. Maybe if he'll let me. Come on, roll 20. Cooperate. Which is going to put him about right there as far as he can move with his javelin in hand. And as he gets close enough, he's going to kind of pull an Adrastos and throw the javelin as he comes to a stop. Uh, that is a 12. Miss. That, that, sorry, that was at Vara. My apologies. I said pull an Adrastos, oh. not throw an Adrastos, but I still think it's yes. a miss. Oh, my bad. You sat me. Uh, a 12 hits my little bear. Oh, it does. It sure does. Their oh. armor is not very hot. Okay. Well, that is going to, wow, that is going to be seven piercing damage. Seven. Noted. Seven. All right. This other bugbear who was already on his way up here is going to proceed, not having seen Hyrax appear over the top of that tower yet, he's going to come up and... Well, where are you going, Buggles? You are still in disguise, I believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he has no way. He's just seen people dropping. Turn around and fight! And he is going to uh, hurl a javelin at Adrastos. Which is going to be a 15. Miss. Which is going to miss horribly, and it goes... I didn't leave off. my scales this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hit past Adrastos and go skipping off and kind of slide down uh, the steps and end up at Ptolemaeus' feet, just hanging out there at the bottom. Can, can I make guy. a request, Tam? Yes. Can I try to like catch it like so it sticks into my shield? Because <laughs> then I'm going to take it. <laughs> give me, uh, give me a dexterity. Let's see how well we do. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it at fifteen. I didn't make it. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I I will borrow some from my other javelin friend. <laughs> All right. 
Mm, Even just... if it's not in your shield, it might have stuck in the ground. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have mine back. Those were a Reskin made. All right, that is going to be it for the moment. Well, no, I still got this guy. So as you climb up, this other goblin is going to look at you and go, why are you attacking us? And he's going to turn back his attention and shoot an arrow at the bear. They just ain't too quick. So, wow. uh, That's probably going to miss. Uh, well, maybe not. That is a, that's a 13. Vara, does that hit? It does. Oh wow. I'm I'm somewhat shocked. Uh that is going to be four piercing damage as you take an arrow along with that javelin. Noted. Bears All right. not looking too good. Yep. Picaros. Right. I can hear the sounds of battle. So I run. I can get up to here. Just passing Tolly uh with my movement, and then I'm gonna just Ah, shoot out my little dancing light into the middle, maybe. Yeah, I would just blindly probably shoot it right out into the middle of whatever's ahead of me, I would say. So maybe probably where Vara is, like just straight into the middle, little dancing light so I can see. All right. See where that ends up. Then I guess I can see this bugbear and that I wouldn't be able to see up the top. Would you say uh, 10? You're probably a good 10 feet down. Well, not 10 feet. Yeah. Uh, where you're at? I'm going to mm -hmm. say six feet down, so I don't know if you have a very good angle on him. Okay. Well, can I just try a firebolt anyway? Would that be like disadvantage? Kind of a, or? Let's do disadvantage. That'll work. All right. a little bit of let's cover do there. that. Let's try it. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. Disadvantage. Oh, firebolt. Uh, 13. That is a miss. Boo. Hey, right. wasn't your first roll of 25? Oh, oh, it's oh, it's disadvantage, yeah. 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 That would have been an actually great that hit. That would have been a great hit, yeah. That would have been great. But it's okay. I just, I need to get some better eyes. And then I'll just, I'll pause here. That's it. Prime says, I'm out of carrots and out of slots. All right, Ptolemaeus. <laughs> uh, you said the, the javelin that was chucked by the bugbear is close to me? Yep, it's at your feet. Like around, it's at my feet. I'm going to pick it up and walk up the stairs, or run up the stairs. Okay. The steps. And I will pass it along to Adrastos. All right. And, uh... The cool, the 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 eeny meeny miny mo the pink orange gets yep. gets my first uh eldritch blast. Okay. Let's see. It will be this up again. That will be a nineteen to hit. That's a hit. Okay. Mudge is nine. He's dead. Okay. I will take the second Eldritch Blast into the grounded bugbear. Okay. Right here. Yep. On this side. And that is a... That is another nat 20. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Hold on. And that's, that's 18 damage. Wow. All right. That was me last session. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. I'm, I'm like, I, I was, what the hell? <laughs> it's good stuff, man. Awesome. I got like a two. Like I started the 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 day with like a two, and then a five, and then another three. I was just like, oh no, tonight tonight's gonna not gonna be good. Um, I think that's it for me. Uh, yeah, I just had handed the Adrastos the the other javelin, mm -hmm. and yeah, that's it. All right. Adrestos, you've been rejavelined. Yes. Um, so I have the one in my hand, and then I have one in my pouch now. Um, but Adrestos barely noticed that the javelin was put in his pouch because he sees Vara full of holes and javelins and arrows. 
And that little wire in his head snaps again, and with a mighty roar, I would like to rage. Nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And then um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Unleash my ire upon this bugbear's face. All right. So that is a 21 to hit. That's a hit. All righty. And that is nine damage. All right. And that is enough. He's down. Okay. Uh, so that was 20. Um, so I checked um, because I had to. If I move at least 10 feet, my vertical jump is seven. These are 10 foot palisades, right? Yes. Okay. I am seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. So if I jump, can I get up there? Yes. Okay, so then ta -dum, ta -dum, whoop, just land on top <laughs> of this dead goblin. Splash. <laughs> and then he attacks the bugbear that's up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> address those, address those. <laughs> in the face, not in the He's face. He's in a rage, he doesn't know. <laughs> All right. And that's that my it? turn. All right. Prime is going to uh, make his way up the stairs. Take a look around. See that pretty much everybody's down that's an enemy, except there are two bugbears up on the uh, tower, but he's not sure which one's which. But he does see that Vara is in pretty bad shape. So he is going to... Uh, Look at her and speak a word of healing. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Give me just a moment here as I get my die roll done here. As, soon as I find my die, okay, I got too many dice in that thing. That is going to be six points of healing. Sweet. And that's going to be it for him at the moment. Vara. All right. I'm going to go ahead and. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to go further over this way. In fact, I'll go ahead and. Let's see, I'll do 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 30, 40. I'm gonna go over here. Can I get a little bit more revealed? Yep. Uh, I say yes. We'll see if roll 20 agrees. Sure. Because <laughs> we know who's the ultimate arbit arbitrator of that, and so far yeah. it is not. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I think it's gonna let me. There we go. Awesome. So you Is have there... more stairs going up. Do I see anybody? Uh, no, at the moment you do not. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and hang here. I'll hold okay. action. Uh, just in case anyone kind of dashes in from the side, I want to make sure that I've got this side covered. While we and advance. what is your action? Um, it would be my multi-attack with bite and claws. All right. Excellent. All right, Pyrex. Right. Uh, so they really haven't caught on yet. Uh, Hyrax is going to take another javelin and feigns for a moment as if he's going to jab at uh, Adrastos and then turns it the last second and flings it at this bugbear over here. <laughs> I love it. All right. Good. That is a natural <laughs> one. Uh, okay. Uh, your javelin goes sailing off and like it's going to hit him and then just drops. 
and hits the side of the tower and is stuck no. in the tower on the opposite side. Oh, I'm going to use a different die and roll my extra attack. All right. And uh, I forgot I'm going to use my bonus action still to cast Hunter's Mark this time. Okay. So. And let's uh, Hunter's Mark. Better. We use that. Well, that's much better. That is a 23 to hit. That's a hit? Eight piercing damage. All right. You hit him and hit him good. He's very unhappy with you at this moment. As I would expect him to be after taking a javelin to the side. Or wherever it hit yeah, him. You know, not not exactly his his idea of a good day. All right, is that uh, it for you? Hmm. Um, I'll say uh, I still have some movement left. Are, are there like board? It looks like there are borders to this palisade. Can I duck down for cover? Uh, yes. I'll give you half. I'll do so. All right. I will do so with my movement, and that's my turn. All right. Very good. The uh, bugbear that you threw the thing at first and then hit with the second thing is going to reach out and grab your javelin, wrench it free. Rude. And throw it back at you going, why are you attacking me? Now you do have cover, so I'm going to disadvantage this. Uh, yeah, so he's going to miss horribly. All right. So yeah, it just sort of pings off of his shield as he's crouched down under the wall with the shield over his head. All right. And let me see what's going on in the shadows that you're not aware of yet. Ah. Uh, this small goblin-esque creature who just kind of odd. The skin is just very very pale and her eyes are that glossy white clear. There's no pupil visible in it. And she kind of wanders out and just kind of does this to take in the area around. And then raises her hand and points it in the direction of Hyrax and Adrastos. And let's see, which one will it be? Uh, I think she's seen enough. It's going to be a Hyrax. I need uh, a uh, intelligence saving throw, please. I'm not good at those. Uh, I'll do it on roll 20. Let's see. Hmm. 14. That is good enough. Uh, you are going to take or psychic damage as this searing pain just barrels into your head along with the voice why and da -da -da -da, I think that's going to do it on you begin to hear some hammering Noises at the gate that uh, Prime closed behind you. Icarus. Oh no. Well, I don't want to be near that, so I'm going to run up these this kind of cliff face a little bit. Uh, I might run all the way up to Tolly. Yeah. And then I want to see... All right, I'm going to bonus action move my dancing light and just move it and try and get it right up into the face of that bugbear. So it's just like hanging around, like right in front of his face, just like to All be right. really annoying. And then I'm going to hurl a firebolt at him. All right. This time it's got to hit. <laughs> yeah, a 26. That's nice. a definite hit. Yeah, take that bugbear, <laughs> even though we're the bad guys now. I think we might be. Uh, I think we might be. Seven points Only of five damage. 
I think we're the baddies. Right. Seven points of fire damage. Flames burst out on the side of him as he screams in agony. <laughs> Is that it? That's it for my turn. All right, Ptolemaeus. Hmm. There's banging back here. This gate hasn't been opened. There's a bugbear that's about to, or it doesn't look great, I guess. Uh. I'm going to. I'm going to cast. Mind Sliver. Into this bugbear. Okay. Uh, that is a intelligence 15 saving throw. Failed with a net one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, <laughs> and with, with his intelligence modifier, that makes it a definite fail. <laughs> He's that's, got a zero. <clears throat> that's 11 points of damage. All right. And yeah. he has to subtract a d4 from his deck saving throw. All right. He howls in agony as this just pierces into his brain. Anything else? Uh, I will move up a little bit. Okay. Uh, not too far up, so that I I should still be like around in the vision. I'll just like be around here, and just kind of go. Any chance you can get the gate up open soon? And uh, that's it. All right. Address it. <clears throat> All right. Maximum horrify. <laughs> because I realized how terrifying this is about to look to this poor bugbear. I'm going to run over here for five feet, jump down, run over to here, jump up. And I can't imagine how terrifying that is to just see the lion just leap his palisade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, I'm going to uh, stab him. Attempts to, at least. That's a natural 20. That's an a that's an actual hit then. Yeah. And I don't so, care I don't care what you roll, he's dead. Well, can I tell you anyway? Because it was <laughs> Yeah, you can tell me. I'm just letting you know he's he's gone. <laughs> um <clears throat> I have to do math, sorry. Sorry? Right. Twenty. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> he's, Maximum damage. He's he's dead multiple <laughs> times over, so Okay. Um, and I think where you guys are at, you could actually get a little bit better view now of up the stair this place. So I'm going to reveal that too. Ooh, a hobgoblin. All right. Uh, so that was one attack. So that was definitely my 30 feet of movement. Um, I'm going to throw my javelin at the troglodyte-ish goblin, the one with the milky eyes. Okay. I do realize that will be at disadvantage. So I am going to um, take advantage of the fact that she's not looking at me to use a mm -hmm. fainting attack to just make mm -hmm. it a standard attack. Uh, 14. That is a miss. Okay. I'm gonna save my action search. So that'll be it. All right. Prime is going to, uh, they appear to be at the gate. Shall I stand here to attempt to stop them if they come through? Or come join you? Join us, Prime. Don't be a silly hero. You're doing great. All right, so he will move up to Tikaros. Yeah. Vara. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just clamber back to the rest of the group. Okay. And prepare for the gate to be potentially opened. 10, 15, 20. 20. All right. One. Irax. So this creature has mentally asked me why. 
Mm-hmm. And before I give my mm-hmm. answer, I want to confirm something. Mm-hmm. These dead goblins at my feet, I can see their arrows. Are they black? Like standard the arrows. arrows that we saw. Standard arrows. Not black? Just standard clan arrows. Uh oh. Hmm. Wait, what does standard clan arrows Did, mean? I mentioned Normal, earlier that they, they normally have differently. They have a different color plumes and marks on them that you can tell what clan they're from. So they're not the black arrows. They're actually arrows for whatever this goblin clan is. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I think we made it. My might, might have made a terrible mistake. Um, we've never done that before. <laughs> Still, I'm no fan of goblins in general. Uh, but yeah, uh, to the one who asked why, he will look down and say, "Hmm, actually." No, instead of responding to her, he's going to shout back to his comrades. These arrows are not black. Um, he... <clears throat> After saying that, can I just throw? I, I, I mean, we're in for a penny and for a pound at this point. I don't think there's any backing out. We after we've killed, what like eight Several. people? I don't Several. know. Several. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven people. Um. Uh, in our yeah. defense, they shot first. At they a did. bear. <laughs> We they, did shoot. <laughs> they didn't know that we were people. They were shooting at a bear. It's very true. We didn't even try to talk to them. We super did not talk to them at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was a good defense. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I guess I will try and talk to her. I don't know. Um, I'll respond back after she says why. I'll respond back in probably in comments. She probably understands it. Um or it, or I don't know, probably understands it. I don't know what it is. I guess we thought you were someone else. This isn't going to work at this point. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I My bad. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Wrong goblins. Wrong goblins. <laughs> he says... Um, you all look the same? <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Oh. There, he'll he'll respond with a question instead. What was the nature of the gift that you gave that other goblin clan? All right. Uh and I guess I will against my better judgment not attack. I can I can dodge, right? I can use my action to dodge? Yeah. I'll do that. Okay. You say this to her, she immediately draws a scimitar and charges her way up onto the podium. Oh, she's fast. She, she <laughs> right, right there. So Spooky. She, she is fast, actually. <laughs> she's going to run up there. At the same time as this is happening, the hobgoblin up here is going to go, Yes, sister, as you command. And he is going to turn and walk his way over here. And you will hear a door open. And then he is going to yell out, Bring the death arrows! Aha! We're not the bad guys! Vindication! And... More of these eerily, eerie looking uh, goblin knights are going to come running out. Scimitars drawn. But the one is up on the uh, edge of the stairs 
is going to uh, take a couple of swings at Hyrax, but obviously isn't going to hit because you took a dodge action. But uh, she does get two good swings at you. They just miss. Tikarus. Okay, Prime. Let's get up on these things. And I'm going to run over to where I just saw a Jastos do his hero thing. I'm going to run over here and go, hey, a Jastos. And I'm going to do like a mirthful leap. I think I can roll like a D8 to kind of help my okay. with my yeah. satyr ability. And if and I so, can't out of turn, I'll just like grab the back of her neck and pull her up as she jumps. Hey, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, I rolled Wait. a seven. Yeah. Well, seven plus eight, though. Or, oh, you rolled a seven on your D8. I got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an additional seven feet of jump. Yeah. You're movement. up there. You're Sorry. up there. No problem. Yeah. You are up there. But, but does that count as movement or is that my action? Is that, that's movement, isn't it? 5, 10, 15. I'm going to consider it movement. Cool. Well, then when I get up there, I'm also going to take the dodge action <laughs> and right. just wait for Prime to follow and jump up to. Right. Follow Mace. Am I the only one that doesn't have the athletic athleticism to make this jump or is too scared to do this? <laughs> it makes, because it makes you wonder, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah, kind of like everybody's just jumping over and like, oh, I'm like, okay, <laughs> waiting for the gate. Hey, guys, you can, you can open the gate now. Um, everybody's just at the Palisades. Uh, if it makes you feel better, I probably only did it because I could just reach up there with my arms since I'm gigantic. I mean, it doesn't, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tried. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just back here for a bit longer, I guess. I don't think I have anything to, you know, I could, I could fall better, but I, I can't go up. Um, so... I think I'm still back here for a bit. Uh, if you will allow my... Prime to uh, move a little bit out, because since he's at the top of the turn order, if you'll let him, he will go up and help Ptolemaeus. I'm fine with it. Because he can help him get a foot up. Yeah, I think I think either or. I'll just, uh, I'll, yeah, if in, in that case, not, me not metaing whatsoever because of mm -hmm. that suggestion, I'll just walk up over here and just be like, Prime, get, give me a little bit of a, a boost. All right. So he will and, come uh, over and cup his hands for your foot and then give you a lift. He's not okay. super strong, but he's got enough to be able to do that. So. Can I scrub <laughs> him as well? <laughs> just sure. scrub everybody up here. <laughs> you, you, grab, you, you just reach down, grab him by the back of the neck with your teeth and like, like a mama cat <laughs> and pull him over the edge. <laughs> Just get like a mouthful of stars, you know, like that's great. Cloak of um, Mama Adrastos. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be up here. Now I can see this other. This Absolutely. Other, uh, you can see them and the ones that are up the hallway a little okay. bit as well. I'll go ahead and, and reveal some of that. Seeing as how there was actual. That didn't, that didn't look amazing. I'm going to throw. Uh, Eldritch blasts at this person. Which one? At uh, the uh, the one wielding the scimitar. Okay. Cool. Here, this one. Uh, this first one is a sixteen. Sixteen hit. Sixteen hit. Uh, that is a hit. Okay. That is two points of damage on the first one. Okay. I'll roll for the second. Um, that is a fifteen to hit. Uh, that one is going to hit. Okay. And that is seven points of damage. Good come. All right. All right. Very good. That's it. Cool. Address us. Okay. Uh, is it an action to open the gate? Yeah, it would be. Okay. All right.
I want to let Vara in, but I'm also in a protective rage. I'm and Vara is in a place where there is no one else. <laughs> I am bare, um, so I can just climb on over. Great. Uh, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right there. And I would like to have words with this goblin. And those words are... <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to uh, fainting attack this goblin. Okay. Oh, this is not going to go well for her. That's a natural 20. All right. So let's see. That is... Twenty-seven damage. Okay. And that was very rolling very poorly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then for my second attack, I miss because a fourteen you said does not hit. Yep. However. She has done psychic things. Yes. Seems like she's in charge and is very frightening. So, action search. Okay. Well, let me let me clarify one thing. The first thing you did to hit at her when you hit her, you see as the hit gets and just compresses her chest, and mm -hmm. then the mushrooms gathered around in this area scream out in pain releasing these spores into the air and she stands back up the mushrooms however shrivel okay um my response will be neat trick do it again and then i'll actually search <laughs> <laughs> Uh, miss and miss. <laughs> and she looks at you and goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> Sorry, I don't <laughs> breathe so good. <laughs> uh, all right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, Prime possessing no climbing ability whatsoever uh, goes over to the gate and is trying to struggle to find a way to climb up over it, but he is not having any success at this at all because, you know, he can't climb. He doesn't have that kind of a skill. Vara, you're up. I climb. Sucks, Prime. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> I'm a bear. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and climb over the gate. Okay. Uh, and for ease later, where is the opener to the gate? Center of the Here gate. Justice, right? it's, oh, it's in the it's, center? Yeah, it's in the center. It's like two two spikes that are tied shut, you know, wrapped with a big rope. Oh, cool. Yeah, I just bear claw the fuck out of it. All right. So you are able to get that opened up. Fuck. Cool. I open it up and I kind of make a, a, a bear noise at, at Prime. Like, you don't have to climb anymore. He says, thank you. Hyrax. Hyrax is gonna kind of go for broke here. Let's see. Uh, all right, he is going to uh, go ahead and cast Ensnaring Strike. I was going to transfer my Hunter's Mark, but I'm going to cast Ensnaring Strike. Oh, I would have had to do it last turn anyway. Um, and jab at her with my Javelin. All right. Uh, so he whispers something to his uh, at his javelin, and the tip of it begins to uh, faintly glow green. And he is going to attack twice. Um, well, let me get my 
glasses on so I can actually see. He put on his glasses, if not to take deadly aim. So, the first attack was a 12, which I imagine will not hit. The second attack is a 23. Nice. That's a hit. All right, so that is eight piercing damage, and then she has to make a DC 14 strength saving throw. No, she doesn't, because she's dead. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, I would like to incorporate my ensnaring strike into the description as the vines <laughs> spring out from the wound, gra ravel around her, or, or grapple around her, and then the thorns dig in and just sort of tear her apart when they All shrivel right. back up. What your dress says, ha, told you so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, let's see. That was a bonus action. Action. I can move. I'm going to try and get down from here. Yes. All right. Um, if there's any point, I guess I can go try and get some of my javelins that were thrown. <laughs> where, did, where did they all fall anyway? I, I think uh, a bunch just, of them were over a, on the other Just around. Housing. I don't know. You know. Okay. I'll use a free object interaction to pick one of them up at least. Okay. I'll stay here. It's fine. I can live here with my friends. <laughs> it's my turn. All, right. All right. Well, seeing their sister fall, these three are quite unhappy with you, Hyrax. Oh, and no. They are going to move forward. And all three of them raise their hand and point at you. And I need three. Intelligent saving throws, please. But, but, but I don't want to make the saving throws. <laughs> what if I didn't? <laughs> okay. That is a 10, a 17, and a 2. So one success, two fails is what I'm hearing there. Yeah. Ouch. So... For the uh the one the first one that is going to be two psychic damage because you know bad die roll. Yeah. The second one that you succeeded on is going to be three psychic damage. Could have been worse. And the last one is going to be four psychic damage. Wow. Nice and sequential. And does something I love that. additional happen to me? Uh just the pain of being stabbed psychically in your brain. Uh, well, he, uh, with a collective, what was that, uh, nine psychic damage, he will put his hands up to his head. Ugh! Oh! Are there any more words like there were last time? No, no words this time. Just mm. pain. Uh, our hobgoblin friend is going to step over here with his bow drawn, his long bow, and he is going to take a shot. Hmm. I'm going to be fair and just roll a die for this and see who he's going to pick as a target because it could be so many things. It's going to be the bear! Rory. No doubt. <laughs> no. That's how these things go. Uh, oh my god, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Cool, hits. So I think that's probably a hit, yeah. And that is going to be 6 piercing damage. Nice. Taken. And this isn't one of the death arrows, right? Nope, this is just a regular arrow at this point. Okay. And let's see, so the gates open. I I think that Prime might be able to do this. Prime is going to look off to his left as the gate swings open and says, we have more incoming. Oh. And I'll go ahead and make them visible because, you know, they're close enough. I think they would go ahead and traipse down into here. So I had posted up over there. 
should have just held ground. Yeah, you just never know. God. I have a very bad feeling about these very tiny looking goblin creatures. Yeah, they seem. Yeah, they there seem are like so many. Different. There are so many colors. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I just thought you might. It, it's like the Baskin Robbins of go, it's Baskin I, Goblins. Yeah. Baskin <laughs> Goblins. Oh. <laughs> uh. If it makes you guys feel any better, those are the first ones. Those are the first ones he marked. They have one color. <laughs> <laughs> True. So that just means the... they were closer to the front and it took them longer to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Tikaros, you are up. Hey. It's time for a new trick. And I'm going to point at that hobgoblin that just hit Vara. And I'm going to try and aim a flash of light that comes out of my finger right in front of him five feet. Because I think this, what I'm going to try, will have a 20-foot radius sphere. And we'll get those little same color pieces as well. So a little streak. Just a tiny little streak. Just sounds like a, a roaring, crackling fire. Streaks out of my finger. Falls at the feet of the hobgoblin and erupts in a massive, fiery cloud for a dexterity save fireball. Nice. Right. 15. Level up, fire trick. Is this the first uh, <laughs> fireball of the campaign? I think, I think yes. so. Yes. I'm so happy. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Things are happening. What was my DC on that? 15. 15. Uh, okay, so I have three successes and one failure. 36 fire damage for the fails. All right. Half of 36 for the save. Fire! Oh, my word. Um, they're all dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, it's a cool trick. It's a cool <laughs> trick, you guys. They are all, all four of them are dead. So. Uh, wow. Hyrax turns very slowly and looks at Tikaros and says, how long have you been able to do that? First time, I have been practicing with fire quite a lot. And I think I've just tweaked it a little, and now it's better. It was a good use of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you mean they are all dead? Yeah, all four Ooh. of them. Oh my! Yeah, they all four are dead. I think she just kind of sits down on her knees in a little bit of shock because <laughs> she's not the fighter. This is like <laughs> oh. The witch address us will turn and lift his javelin. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, I mean it in, in the best way possible but like you you about to make Adrastos like not rage because there's like there's like <laughs> not anything in his range to go yeah. and kill because you just killed everything that's so crazy oh don't worry i have ways oh of course <laughs> i don't doubt it um new people they're in range I shall I shall throw more stars. New people um, who dis. All right, I'll I'll throw throw it at the blue one first. Throw my Eldritch Blast. Um, that is a non-natural, a dirty twenty to hit. Uh, and which one were you going after? I'm sorry. Blue. Blue. Blue is hit. Of course, obviously. Blue is hit for nine. Nine. He is dead. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> now for for the orange looking one. Okay, these um, poor guys. They don't a, stand a chance. Is a, that is a uh, twenty six to hit. That's, that's a hit. And that is an eight. He's dead. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I. I just made it just a little bit harder for Adrastos to get his rage. <laughs> but uh all right. Um I, I'll I'll take this I'll take this point seeing a bunch of them dead to be like We're still sure that 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 the, the arrows are here, right? The black black arrows. 
They said something about death arrows. Okay, I don't feel as bad then. This is this is what happens when the party sticks together, by the way. I know! <laughs> yeah. We're so a much, full party this So time. many less intimidating <laughs> fights than this. We've just struggled oh. and blown it, but we stick together? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not we like are, full We panicking. are kind of meat grinders. Oh. Um. <laughs> In a terrifying way against people who probably don't deserve it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but death arrows. I heard death arrows. That's my that's my trigger warning. So uh, oh yeah, yeah. There we go. I got it. Um, that's it. My for my turn. All right, Adrastus. I am actually glad you needed that tickers because I was just going to take a bunch of attacks of opportunity running past those goblins to get at the hobgoblin <laughs> that shot Vara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go five, ten, fifteen, hot down, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five to right here. As my mm -hmm. action, I'm going to take my good hand and I'm just going to bite my wrist for one damage so that I'm taking damage and keep myself raging. <laughs> Smart. You could have got a splinter coming off of the tower, you know. I mean, yeah. yeah I was already, been as cool. I was all ready to just bash you with my shield real quick. And say, <laughs> Splinters would have been more than one damage, okay? It's like at least two mental damage. Yeah, that's damage true. That's a splinter. good point. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, all right, so that was my movement and my action. Uh, yeah, I'm done. I think. All right. Do you have to I just take to damage or do you have to be attacked by another creature? I have to take damage. Just I take either damage. have to attack a hostile creature or take damage. Okay. Or, yeah. All right. Um, seeing Adrastos move forward, Prime is going to stupidly probably um, come out here behind him. Um, does uh, does Adrastos look wounded? Not a bit. He has okay. he has a bite mark on his hand and nothing else. All right. No problem there. <laughs> Uh, in that case, Vara, you're up. Cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advance forward past these folks. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And see if there's anyone else coming from up here. Hmm, that's probably a good question. And what's the distance on your uh, dark vision? Well, so Vara's dark vision distance is 60 feet. I don't know about there. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. There you go. So that's what you can oh. see so far. Do okay. I see any bodies? You do not. Cool. Is that it? That is it. I'm trying to think of a way that a bear could signal that she doesn't see anyone, but I feel like the best way to signal that is by not bringing attention. So she's just going to quietly stand here. Oh, um, they, you know what? The, this this door would be open too, because that's where the the creepy sister goblins came out of. So cool. I'm gonna go is ahead. Is that a giant cauldron? Looks like uh, there's food in it. Why won't it let me reveal it? Roll 20, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just make the room visible. What the heck? There you go. Cool. All right. Ooh, that's a big key. All right. Sweet. Um, actually, well, since I see this big room with a big old cauldron of potential food in there, I'm probably <laughs> going to go ahead and lumber over there. Okay. So let's do another 40 as a dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Cool. I'm in here. Love it bear. is definitely a cauldron with something in it. It looks vaguely meatish. Nice. Uh, hard, hard to tell what's in there with it. So that's all right. Bear's excited. <laughs> all right. Mm. Hi, Rex. Uh, Hmm. Hyrax figures they've got those bad guys handled. He is also going to go explore. Uh, can get up to 35 and go down here. I'll see Bear Vara uh, going off to eat. 
The question is whether I go to join her and, and do some investigation, or if I run off this other way to try and see what there is to see. Um, do I have a sense of where, which direction the hobgoblin was calling to when he said, fetch the... Uh, it was just kind of in general, so uh, not really easy to say. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Vara will point a paw at the key on the table if she sees you looking over in this direction. Yeah, is that key real or is that just part of the map? That yeah. key is real. I'm going to dash in. And it's not as large as it looks on the map. I don't know why the table in this map oh, is Oh, it's like not? Dude, so I was huge, so prepared so. for a massive <laughs> key. Uh, the, the key's big, uh, but, you know, right here. yeah. It, it, okay. The way that looks, you know, Hayrex would need help to climb up onto like the table to get it. Key, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. just going to point out that was a five foot wide stool. Like, that's, yeah, a, exactly. <laughs> that's a table, not a stool. <laughs> All right. I'll actually head, I'll head this way and I'll reach out and grab the key if I can. All right. Very good. Is that it? And that'll, that's my turn. All right. So, uh, the little guy with the mask on is going to uh, say a couple things and move his hands and a wall of fire appears between, eh, well, roll 20 will let me make it appear between you. Here we go. It's not letting me stretch it. Roll 20, you're getting in my way. Oh, there we go. We'll just put that wall of fire right about there. Appears a little ways in front of Adrastos. From wall to wall across the uh, cave. And then... An arrow is going to come sailing through that fire. It is going to go past Adrastos and skip onto the ground just a little bit in front of Prime, because he, this person shooting the arrow missed. This arrow, however, has a black tip, and when it hits the ground, the ground immediately reacts and begins to turn a darkish gray as it loses all color. And I think that's going to be it for what you can have perception of right now. Yes. Picaros. Yeah. All right. Uh, as if that firewall will stop Adrastos. I scoff to myself. And then I think, let me just take a quick look-see. Uh, Adrastos. Yeah, 50 feet. So I'm can say into Adrastos's head, Vara and Hyrax have headed further in. I'm going to follow them. So you know where we are, because now we fight as a team. Yeah, and we fight I'm as gonna... a team as I'm splitting the party. <laughs> as I like, run after them. <laughs> yeah, but at least I told you, because we don't normally communicate so good. So then I'm gonna jump off this. Uh... No, the stairs. Why would I jump? I'm gonna go down these stairs. 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, and I'm just gonna follow um, Harax and Vara. Into right. this section. Elements. Oh, there, sorry. That's it, that. okay. No, that's it. That's it. Sorry. How how tall how tall is the fire the wall of fire? Uh, I believe it's ten feet tall. Ten feet tall. So I could technically. Oh no no! Sorry, pardon, pardon me. It is sixty feet long, twenty feet high. Twenty feet so high. So it is it is from uh, wall to wall, ceiling to okay. floor. Okay, so ceiling to floor. I see. Okay. Uh, all right. If that's the case, seeing the black arrow, I don't know if Adrastos will listen. I'll just say, Adrastos, if you if you go past that wall, nobody can follow you, and they have. They have those arrows. We should keep the group together. 
and um i will use that as my kind of uh bid to get i'll just also i'll just stay around the gate and they'll just go prime come into the gate as soon as adrastos comes in i'm co i'm closing this one as well all right and that's all i'm going to do all right adrastos so um you're right the wall of fire would not stop adrastos but Adrasto sees the arrow hit the ground and he sees it fizzle. And as he's looking back to jump through the fire, he sees, he looks down at his shield arm and sees the javelin that is currently standing in for his arm. And the wire reattaches and he shakes his head as he drops his rage, turns to Prime and says, this isn't a fight we need to have. And he's going to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, oh, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Wow. And he is in control <laughs> of himself again. All right. Very good. In that case, Prime is going to move in, grab the gate, and help close it and secure it. Yep. Okay. Um... So just just so you know, Ptolemaeus, the rage is I'm not a berserker, so the rage isn't mindless. So I do still have my faculties. Okay. But if I get to third level, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you will become no. <laughs> <laughs> then then I lose my mind. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Prime is inside. Uh, Vara. Okay. Time for Bear to eat a little bit out of this cauldron. I'll take a little bite. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, check out the tents and see if they have anybody in them. Okay. <clears throat> Constitution saving throw, please. From eating. The you ate the bad food. food. Oh no! <laughs> On save. You ate the mystery meat. Twenty-one, baby. All right. Uh, you are not happy with this. You are going to take even on a successful save. You're going to take a little bit of damage from it. Uh, that is going to be three points of poison damage. That does it. <laughs> I am no longer bear. Whoops. <laughs> uh, as, as the bear is like leaned over the cauldron, like trying the food, and High Rex looks over, and the bear like scrunches its face up, and then just like Bar pops and just goes, <laughs> like spits the food back out. Like I'm so sorry you had to see that. <laughs> uh, the the flavor the flavor best reminds you of. Uh, Kind of the odor of the fungus that grows in this place. Ah, mm. That tracks. Yeah. So um, she'll kind of just like dust herself off and, um, anyways, <laughs> and walk over to the um, tents and see if there's anyone in them. Glad you're all right. Who knows what they were brewing in there? Thanks. Me too. Oh, I guess we can get rid of Bear Token. Uh, there, there are no people inside the. Uh, the tents. Um, looks clear in this room. And that's my turn. All right. Hi, Rex. I'm you sure have a key. I can. Can I see inside, that, like basically without uh, without going inside? Yeah, there, there's like, there's no at one. At least a clear it. shot from the entrance. Yeah, there's. He just glances either. up and goes. He just glances up and goes. There's no one in that one either. I have a key. We should regroup with the others and travel further inside. Maybe we can find out where this poison is coming from. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. He's going to head out this way. And seeing that uh, Adrastos and Tikaros have 
headed up there, whereas Ptolemaeus and Prime are over here. Uh, he'll hold up the key and say, I'm going to go see where this fits. I think if we're, you would like to join me. I think we're sufficiently out of combat for the moment. I mean, those guys are going to be stuck outside the fence. Yep. When you they, hold up so, the key, Adrasus is going to say, we need to be careful. They, they have the arrows that did this to me, and he holds up his arm. Then at least we know that our attack is justified. So Prime's going to come join you up here for whatever you guys are going to do, so that we're rejoining the party, so to speak. Yeah. We should move as a unit. I fear after we clear out this hideout, we'll need to go find those other goblins, if they really uh, did give them these arrows. When Var rejoins us, Adrastus kind of looks down at her and sees a little bit of like the puke on the side of her mouth and just <laughs> like reaches in and grabs like a cloth and just wipes it off and then drops the cloth. Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> Does anyone need to rest before we head further in? No, I think we should move quickly. We don't want to waste time if they can. That is preference. Yes, I'm alright. Besides, besides, now that I'm think of it, someone is waiting for us. We should move with speed. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I'll take points because I don't think, and I'll say <laughs> I don't think stealth is an option anymore. I'll take points. All right. Agreed. Yep. Um, I'm assuming it's. I'm assuming we're reaching a point where it looks lighter in this part of the map. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's still dark. It is still dark. So oh. I am still dark. I am in Testudo now, though. Like I'm like advancing I'm, spear on shield. Okay, okay, if it's still dark, and I'm I'm a gloom stalker, I will. Uh, he will walk up and put a hand on Adrastos's shoulder and say. Is it all right if I scout ahead? Of course. Just so be I can careful. give you for just so I can give you forewarning. Just be careful. Don't I'm take always, any unnecessary risks. I'm always careful. And then he creeps off. All right. I okay. will hang to the back just so I have my one little orb, but it's not affecting the front party. All right. You make your way in and Seated in front of the tents in here, one in front of each, are two more of those creepy-looking, uh, ghosty-eyed goblins. To be clear, I would have dropped my disguise at this point. Okay. By now. Very good. I no longer look like a bugbear. Okay. Um, okay. Have they seen us yet? Um, uh, it's actually your initiative, so I'm going to say okay. you walk into the room and they have not reacted yet. So, um, okay. Hmm. How would I indicate what they are? Uh. <laughs> Um, I wish I had some way to do like message or something like that, like uh, Tikaros does, but I have no <laughs> silent way to communicate. Reason number two, I took Soul Knife as my secondary class when I was a Doom Stalker. <laughs> they can s communicate telepathically. Uh, he is going to, Hyrax is going to quickly like crouch down under this table, if possible, or or near this table. Okay. Uh, so that he there he's not immediately visible. Glance he puts up a hand up like hold for a dross. And then points in each of the directions that he has seen the two okay. different uh goblin creatures. Um Adrastos will nod. And tries to and tries to do like whites of his eyes as he pulls it, <laughs> stretches the skin down a little bit to try and <laughs> let him know what he's talking about. He <laughs> rolls his eyes up and, and pulls them down a little bit. Be like, it's the milky eyed ones. Mm -hmm. All right. That it? 
exactly mil- not exactly official military time, but a little bit of charades. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that is what he gives him for now. Uh, he's not going to do anything else at the moment. All right. As you crawl under the table, you hear two voices in your head simultaneously, and they both ask, why do you have the key? Um, am I able to respond? Yeah, we're within that narrow frame of time. You can respond. Great question. I have taken it. They both stand up and draw their scimitars. All right. Uh, If I have even a moment to respond verbally, I will say, uh, they attack. Okay. We they keeping do the not... initiative we have, or yeah. are we? I know, I know it is an initiative, but I would say something the minute I hear that. Okay. Do you want to keep initiative or reroll? Same is fine. Yeah. Same uh, is fine for ease. Yeah. Same. I mean, if we reroll, well, so does d- my question is? Wait, wait. So I assumed that this was not the first round of combat. Then is it? Well, you just said they're attacking. They just drew their weapons. They did not move forward, but. It depends That's on what true. you guys are doing. So, look, if, if you draw your weapons, then you're planning to attack, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Uh, uh, is it their turn? They stood up and drew their weapons. I was about to move to the next person, but then the question came up of, are we in combat? <laughs> Well, I was just asking if I'd be able to say something before we started. Feel free. Okay, so as soon as I hear they attack, um, I'll turn to the party. Pale ones, two of them, straight ahead. Be on your guard. All right. Tikaros. Oh, of them. I have something for this. Uh, Bonus action. Hurl all four of my dancing lights into this room so I can see perfectly. Adrastos is so proud. Spread them out. (laughs) And I'm going to, with my movement, I'm going to run up here and then channel my sorceress energy, put both hands out and shoot fire out of both my hands, one at each of the two. Nice. Okay. Two firebolts. Firebolt to the left. Firebolt to the right. First one, oh, not one for the first on the left. So that, that misses. That's a miss, believe it or not. <laughs> Oh. We Christmas up in here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love it. What is the damage for that net 20? All right. Mm. So it's 2d10 is full damage. So 20 damage. If we, we just She's double. Dead. She's dead. I've never She's had dead. a net 20. She's dead. She's dead. <laughs> Yay. She's you, Yay. She burst into flame incinerated. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> that net one goblin better be. Like so excited right now. Like, oh, the other one won the coin oh. toss. The other one <laughs> cries out in agony and says, "My sisters, all oh, oh. gone." Yeah. And she turns just... and walks back into the tent and sits down on the floor. Oh. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, that okay. deflation was so fast. <laughs> You've wiped out her whole family. I mean, come on. You know, there's got to be a little something somewhere. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, she's, you know. she's speaking. <laughs> yeah, was that was that in common? Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, whatever you consider your native language to be, that's what you heard in your head. Mm. Mm. Oh. Hmm. The old oh. tongue. Ah, yes, I was about to say. 
that is going to hit address us in a very specific way. Are you planning to kill her while she sits in the tent? Yeah, uh, Laura, Laura is, if it oh, was oh, if it was my turn next, <laughs> I was going to just uh first walk up into the room and and uh kind of speak into the tent and just go where did you obtain the death arrows? Are we still in combat? That's going to be my question. Because she is not fighting unless you fight her. For the moment, we are talking. Yeah, I'd right. say yeah. no. Borrow one someone like this. All right. Uh, they are a gift. From? The gods. Which one? All of them. They you she gestures to the door. She gestures to the door to the west and says, they leave them for us at the altar. Do you know what your gifts have wrought? What altar? The altar in the other room. They have brought opportunity for our kind. May we go to this altar and see it? She we looks at Hyrax. A... Her eyes turn to Hyrax. You have the key. We believe yeah. there's a possibility that um, the god leaving these arrows is, is not the god you think. So if we could take a look. I know we've done a lot of damage, but um, we really would didn't it, want to harm. Would it be a mercy to let you rejoin your sisters? Mm -hmm. It does not matter at this point. This is your what was foretold. You have arrived. Your arrows poison everything they touch. They destroy even the natural world and have killed a nymph. Or a dryad, sorry, a dryad. My goddess would never gift such a thing unless she is nothing like I believed her to be. I consider yes. these acts profane. Are the you prepared to die destroy. for them? Just talking over you, the arrows destroy everything. The chaos is wonderful. Serenity breeds patient. death and darkness. Adrastos has run across the womb, and if, if I don't beat Hyrax's javelin, I'm just going to stab her. <laughs> oh, wait, she spoke of a prophecy. I'd really like to know who gave her that prophecy. Stop. <laughs> Please roll me your attack roll. <laughs> no. Right. Far, like, grabs her face. Oh, you have advantage on this, by the way, since she is sitting down and not fighting back. Uh... All right. I am, I am. Wait, who's rolling the attack roll first? I remember saying that I was throwing something. I think we were doing it simultaneously. I so guess it's a simultaneous roll two attack rolls. Who gave you the right. prophecy? Uh, it is a it is a sharp uh, sugar roll. I have a twenty six. That's a hit. <laughs> the prophecy. The prophecy. I have, I have a dirty twenty. <laughs> That's a hit. That is fifteen piercing damage. Okay. This, Eleven this for my little heart. Hardier. She is dead. <laughs> oh damn! I shouldn't have said anything. Vara, Vara looks to Tigris and Tali and just kind of shakes her head and starts walking to the altar. Well, let's hope there's some answers in here, shall we? I agree. You understand that this thing, this type of thing, happens all the time, anyways. Hyrex, the the key, if you don't mind. Yes. Would I'll any of you key. like it instead? Yeah, okay. He gives it to Ptolemaeus. Yeah. I'll 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 grab the key and, and, and head over to the gate. Hmm? If we're just gonna to find... slink down against the wall and not say anything. If we're not able to find the answers from her mouth, we'll find the answers in this altar. Let's hope. You insert the key in the door, turn it, 
and we'll pick up here next week. Mm -hmm.